Step Brew. Marchiato. That's that's pretty that's that's almost there. Let's go with the uh... Fuck. Sumocha. Andrew Latte. Express Sumito. Fappuccino. Fappuccino, there it is. Fappuccino. Yeah, there we go. Is Fappuccino correct? You're goddamn right I am. All right, we ready? It's a dating sim or what? Uh, no, it's more like it's a visual novel. It's a visual novel. Seattle. A city of enduring loneliness. I don't want too much of the screen to be covered up by us. I don't think I have a better solution for this though. Let me think for a second, hold on. What do I do here? Deal with it? Maybe I deal with it. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It's a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. It's a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Can we talk about furries? Acceptance is a battle and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. And the we world live in a society you can end. And the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Yo, what game is this? Coffee Talk 2? Gotta go set up my new PC. I've got at least two gigabytes of Sims mods I need to move over, so I'm gonna peace out. Have a good one, Maddie Littler. Thanks for dropping by. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. We live in a society you can't even eat some pizza without ending up in a Romanian jail. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In a night-blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. They released a new coffee? Yeah, it just came out today. Tuesday, September 19th. The Evening Whispers, free of charge. Seattle West Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Is the background music the same as the one Internet Historian uses in some of his videos? I have no idea how I would know that. I don't know that. I guess, I guess this will go on Coffee. for a while. Officer Georgie. Welcome. Evening, Fappuccino. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say the power lines? Probably? Yeah? What the fuck is this conversation? I already sound awkward. Beans. What about them? Cheese. 
Oh, that's a concern. The power has kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight? You mean Freya? I remember Freya from the first game. The one and only. Unless she's changed hair color, then my bad. Haha, <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? She's currently on a research trip for a new book. That's so? At least that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit it's been pretty quiet around here, but it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. To have some time to herself. Ack. Yeah, I've always notified the city lights department. They said they'd monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Fappuccino. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather. A lucky charm of sorts. Never filled us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it to light up for longer than 10 seconds, then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. That's a shit lighter, bro. I mean, I guess you don't need more than 10 seconds of flame to light a cigarette, but like, bruh. Don't cops usually carry flashlights? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? This cop sucks. Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Oh. I think the machines are heated. Finally. Thanks for waiting. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. No midnight patrol? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Guys! That's the name of the game. It's hibiscus and butterfly. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. Give him some of your Fappuccino. Oh, I got some extra cream for him. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, Fappuccino. No judgment here, just saying. What is this underwriting? Alternative what? Oh. It's pea, as in pea pods. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. Got it. Whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course, no dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. Did he think it was piss? I thought it was piss. Guys, whatever this conversation is, shut the fuck up. I'm tired of seeing large blocks of text that I don't want to read or moderate. Want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago? Better write down everything you can remember then? Speaking of remembering, Ray actually left me something for you. Then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Ah, yes, the completely irrelevant minigame of actually making drinks. Uh. Tea? And. Uh. Cinnamon? And. Brew. Oh, more tea, I guess? Yeah, brew it. Yeah, chat, this is a place for sharing image macros, not discussions of substance. Fucking hell. Cinnamon tea! Better give Freya stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. What is this? Papers, please. Wait, I would like to inspect that item. How do I inspect it? I guess I can't. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Fascinating. You're goddamn right. A postcard, huh? Is she bragging at me or something? Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What's it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Okay. Thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome, and I will. 
Careful, it's hot. Thanks. It's a postcard. I could have just read it. Is this really the stuff you suggested earlier? No. Thought so. So what's the deal? You know, sometimes I don't understand myself. Fuck, I guess I made the wrong thing. What did you say? Wood-fired pizza? How's pizza gonna get a job now, Nerevar? Jeez. Yo, Stone Line Daddy, thanks for the... Is that two gifted subs? Yo, appreciate it, my dude. Dustpan, Droglite, Rain, welcome to the watch list. Give a big thank you to Stone Lion Daddy for them. Appreciate it, my dude. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her makeup exams. Yeah, we found out that for some reason or another, she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. God damn. Not speaking to your kid for a month? Anyway, the missus plan to celebrate a little tonight, making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters come over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sort. As you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm, that and my car is busted. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. What the fuck happened to your car? Vandalism. That's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. Need to find a way to get home fast. Oh. Guys, new character. What the fuck? By Zeus, what a disaster. Uh, let's drop the sound a tiny bit. Does anybody want to take a guess as to what this guy's name's going to end up being? I'm going to go with... Uh... Blake. He looks like a Blake. Oh, Damien. That's a good guess. Furry bait? Is that a guess at his name? Or are you just labeling him? Hornster Thunderhorn. James. It's going to be some anime-ass name. I'm excited to find out. All right, let's see. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. What a comedian, this guy. Glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it. You want anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. Fuck, he looks like a Lucas. Guys, he looks like a Lucas. How did we all get this wrong? And you are? My name's Fappuccino. Fappuccino. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Lucifer. Lucifer? Lucas? Lucifer? I could see it. I think. Mrs. is calling. All right, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. What can I get you, Lucas? Can I get a cafe latte? Of course you can. I know how to make that. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um. Okay, okay. Hear me out. I used to like coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. You know what I mean? Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still just miss coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. Coffee that's mostly milk? 
I think he's supposed to be a satyr, like from Greek mythology. Probably has some goat ass hooves, long ass goat dick too. I'm gonna be honest, this, this is a cute goat boy, whatever, whatever they're going for here, I'm liking it. The freckles under the eye? And <laughs> Jay Schlatt. <laughs> Guys, what else is there other than a latte that's mostly milk? Just a latte, isn't it? Or a macchiato? What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine? Give me the most expensive steak you have. Americano? I guess an Americano could work. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you tried matcha? Yeah, he doesn't even want coffee. He just wants caffeine. Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. You want to give it a go? Sure. One matcha. I know how to make a matcha. Uh, it is matcha. Wait, do I have... um? I don't need to guess how to make it, right? Yeah, look, group ad. I've got an app for this. Matcha. Green... D Three things of green tea. Okay. Green tea, green tea, green tea. I mean, that's a matcha. The artwork's always really beautiful in this game. Give item? I have no items to give. I could give him my phone number. <laughs> a cup of premium matcha coming up. What a millennial. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. Guys, yay or nay, you think he's gonna like it? Chat, you think he's gonna like it? Matcha's literally the devil? You guys don't like matcha? I mean, I don't like hot matcha, but uh, a cool matcha latte? What the fuck did I say? Did I say latte? Yeah, latte. Matcha lattes are kind of lit. Let's see. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. Tastes a little grassy though, but I kind of like it. Oh, I mean, that. I'll take that as a win. Men come in Nymphomania. That is specifically for woman. The male counterpart called Ceteriusis, which sounds like it's goat skin. I don't get it. Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Good thing I like intense, because it makes up for the fact I'm really not. Anyway, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. Has anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. Guys, we have no social media presence. This coffee shop sucks. Maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee place since we opened quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys usually close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. That means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Oh, his his shirt's supposed to be like a Gucci shirt. I didn't see the design. I thought this was uh, Roman numerals for some reason. He took the photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh, I was gonna tag your place here. I do have an account there, but Men I haven't seen this picture before. Men can absolutely have nymphomania. Nymphs are women and alluring. Nymphomania can refer to a woman who is obsessed with intercourse, or a man who is obsessed with nymphs. Is there a reason we find the need to specify this in the TTS? Did anybody ask?
Tomoda Chill? Is that the name of the app? You can check out people's updates now. Just open the stories tab while in the app. Oh, that's right, I have a phone. Tomoda Chill. Look, it's Georgie's family. Lucas. Stories. Lucas, guess where I am? Hashtag chilling, hashtag pick of the game. 9,600 likes. This motherfucker got damn near 10K likes in like a minute. Holy fuck. His existence confirms there are actual furries in this universe. Nails. Whales. Who are these other people? Oh, Freya! From the first game! Two hour delay? Not a problem. Hashtag traffle, hashtag coffee shop. I can't over- I can't get over the fact that this dude's this fucking famous, bro. Are they all named depicting some kind of deity? I didn't play the first game for a long fucking time. So I'm not sure the direction they're going with the second game. I guess we'll find out together. Better check it daily though, because the stories only last a day. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. Ooh, is there actual gameplay in this one? Maybe we can learn something? Hold on, I've got notifications on my phone and I want to like, get rid of that so that I can see when there's something actually new happening. Poggers. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything. Kidding, I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. <gasps> He's a YouTuber! But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? No, thank you, but I'm curious. What do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new If feature. there are furries, would they wear human suits? I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else in between. I dig this dude's confidence. I still have a huge fucking um, reservation about calling myself a YouTuber because I feel like the stuff I do online is a little bit stupid. But like, if I got bigger or a little bit more mainstream with the videos I did, I would absolutely have this dude's confidence, for sure. At a coffee shop, they're like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, me? You know, I just kind of live. You know what I mean? I just kind of, I just, I'm just sort of, I just kind of flow through life. No, but like, what do you do as a job? That is my job, existing. And I do it better than most. I'd be the biggest dickhead, bro. Does this mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Yes! For the right price, you can. Aw. Never mind then. Just kidding, my manager decides what I endorse. They help me keep on brand, so to speak. Literal YouTuber, I love this dude. Call yourself a content creator on YouTube, saying YouTuber sounds kind of weird? Nah, if on YouTube and on Twitch, where I know you guys know what this is, sure, but like, out if i was talking to somebody at a coffee shop and they were like a boomer i would absolutely say youtuber just so that they know hey what's going on amico thanks for dropping by appreciate that my dude sounds like the most la conversation Stop ever probing the target and poison his coffee already agent 47 investigating his social media posts is not part of the mission shut up i can go about this how i want whatever that means oh lordy hey georgie's back Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. He's a YouTuber, that means he's broke. No, he's probably a good YouTuber. He's not like me. Is everything all right? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling a cab. I would have called a cab by now. This dude's come up with no solutions. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? 
Been calling him while I was on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. What's with this coffee shop and getting everybody fucking trapped in it? Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. Touché. That is Lucas Gray. Shadow client and assassin clone turned freelancer. Freelance what? Freelance clout chaser? Getting married in nine days? Ooh! What did you say? Happy marriage! Big Thank you for the seven months! Congratulations on the wedding. I wish you all the best. I don't know if it's a wedding or you're just getting married married, but whatever. Very fun. Yo, Sumeto, I just bought an I'm Corona old boy lighter and I'm so hyped. A what? Old boy like the movie? That's pretty lit. Ah, fuck. I retract my statement. For what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter then, Fappuccino? No, thank you. I'm going to check on something, so I'll be back. Hey, you all right? Yeah, everything's peachy. I just, heh. I don't like being in the dark so much. What, are you scared of the dark, kid? Duh, you never know what might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still! This dude's literally me. Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. I feel like he, like... I feel like it's the gun. You know what I mean? If I had never been on a night patrol, but I had a gun, I wouldn't be all that worried either. If I can grab him, I can handle him. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh? Did you hear something? What? What? This dude is on edge, bro. I swear I heard something just now. Oh, fuck! Holy... <laughs> he said what I just said. Whoa! Look at this dude's face. New fucking emote, boys. Er... Hi? I'm back. Boys, another guess! What do we think this new girl's name is? Has there become a need for software to up... I, I missed that message. Has there become a need for software to update as often as it does? Or has it just become that we're more aware and updating software has become easier so we just allow it? No. It's... Uh, software should update like every day, in my opinion. I am Corona Old Boy is an expensive lighter? Ah, interesting. Lucy. Demeter. Cleo for Patra. Cleopatra. I'm going to say... I'm going to go with Fanny. Like Phantom. Fanny. Or, or maybe, um... Shit. Maybe like, uh... Uh, Siren. Siren. Maybe her name's Siren. Mary, Mary Maid, like a mermaid. Wisp, ooh, that's a good one. Cassie, like Cassiopeia. Fanny with the fat ass. Fanny with the fat ass, that'd be good. All right, let's find out. What did you say? Holy fuck, yo, Emito, thanks for the five gifted, broski. Thank you so much. What do we got here? Kao Zhu, Shrek 2 number one, Cletus of the Embritus, James Cake, and Jesse Kidd. Welcome to the watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Everybody give a collective what thank you to say, Emiko. Big, meaty, I gotta up my fan. It's getting like weirdly warm here. Hold on. All right, let's see who this is. Yo, Sumetra, the new video was good. Keep up the work, my dude. Yo, thank you, Snack Boy, and I absolutely will. Appreciate you dropping by for the comments. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, herbal. 
Something soothing for my throat and mind. Tough day at work? Kind of a weird question. I mean, I guess it's a visual novel, so whatever. If you have no particular drink in mind, mind I suggest trying our new blue pea latte. Blue pea latte. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Okay. Uh, I know how to do that, right, guys? So green tea latte is green tea, milk, and milk. So obviously a blue pea latte would be blue pea, milk, and milk, right? Makes sense to me? Latte art. Uh... Her name was unimportant. The fact that she asked for it to be pretty caught Simita's attention. Was this a trap? She looks like a scholar or one on of those weird names we has in the nine it is. Fuck. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Let me cook. Okay, and then... Fuck, hold on, wait. Hold on. Okay, let's... Eh? 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 Fuck, man! The mechanic's a little wonky, or maybe I'm just bad. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on, wait. I think I got it. Hold on. Okay. That is definitely come. Shut up! I got it. Just let me... Let me cook. How do I... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's, let's... Eh? Fuck. Me. There we go. Perfect. Here you go, miss. One. Simita cooked, hoping the slightly latte. frightening blue gold hence name Scholar would appreciate his efforts. It's blue? What the fuck did you think it was gonna be? Yes, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Yes! In there, like sweatwear! How do I taste? It's good. Thank you. Very welcome. We did it, boys! Imagine if this was your artistic medium, like you're the Da Vinci of coffee art and you will only ever make minimum wage. Too real. Too real. Is the power okay? Yeah, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There's also several road closures. Hurry, compliment her? I did by giving her coffee. You think I just give coffee to any goat femboy and blue-haired alt chick that walks into my store? I could see why you might think that, but no. So basically, you're saying we're stuck. Right? So, at least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. Yeah, you should fucking start walking, man. You, could, you, you got a kid at home. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining. Just didn't want to alarm you, Fappuccino. 
his tires got flattened. For real? Yep. Been some vandalism going around. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. And where our station lot was getting repaved, so a few of us had to park outside, you know the rest. Everyone's cars get affected? No, just mine. Seems kind of racist, don't you think? That's so weird, you're so chill about it. Number 15, Vapuxino Special Sauce. The last thing you'd want in your coffee shop cough is sumit a special sauce, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. <laughs> Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. Though my co-workers aren't cool about it. The recent mass resignations yeah. have left us severely understaffed. Who don't own an umbrella nor check the weather before leaving the house. Let us watch them attempt to converse like fully functional people. Listen, if, if the story didn't force these dudes into our coffee shop, we'd have no fucking business right now, you know what I mean? Let's just let the plot play out. How else am I gonna make the rent? Additionally, companies are moving away due to the tax hike, so there are protests happening, which means tensions are high all around. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV, so I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it be just a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land somewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, will you let it slide? But I'm serious, prank videos are like their own genre online. People watch that kind of stuff? You think somebody would do that? Upload a video? Jumping on stage at the Game Awards just to pull a prank? Nonsense. It's all about the cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? The crazier your shtick is, the more views you get, which means more ad money. I like the goat femboy. He is my favorite character. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Repeat until you push him just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof and disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. I am learning so much about my own job from this game. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. Joking. Anyhow, high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier? Sounds like something else. Welcome to Watch Mojo. We'll be counting down our top 10 coffee shops that serve come number 10 Sumito's Coffee Shop. I'm not even Sumito in this game. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. The views are declining for one. Not enough pranks? Harsh! I just realized the cop is smoking indoors. How rude. What's gonna happen? Somebody's gonna arrest him? Now, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I would ever want to get back into it. Anyway, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's true. That's right! Yet, they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuality of your work depends on the audience's whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? <gasps> Ghost Girl is talking. Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's all right. I know I'm loud. What do you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whim? Of course! 
I should just make book reviews. Who cares if you get absolutely no views? It's not like that's the sole determining factor on whether or not you keep your job. I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? Holy fuck! Guys, I am in this game. I am this guy. He is I. I'm suing Coffee Talk for taking my personality and putting it in the goat femboy. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with, maybe even 10, but to influence the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. My belief is if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. Considering I intruded, it's only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. He's a boomer! What Sumata didn't realize is that he made this game and was only unaware of this because the real goat boy Lucas had erased his memory to steal the game. Uh, okay. I find people's conduct there very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano, really? That's cool, can I see it? Wait, so she's in the mafia? I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, kiss. Shut up, Georgie! It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home, since I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications, though I'm not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield results. Bruh. You uploaded a shot. You uploaded an admittedly bad video of you singing, and then because it hasn't resulted in you starting a singing career, you've signed off of using the internet? That is incel level hater attitude, bro. That is nuts. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section, so I checked. It was... A lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were... Chat, what do you think the next message is? People saying that her singing sucks, but she should start an OnlyFans? Or people just saying her singing sucks? Because I don't think she's just upset that people said her singing was bad. I, I think it's I think it's horniness, right? People calling her slurs? She's blue! What kind of slurs are there for blue people? They wanna fuck the goat for sure? I wanna fuck the goat. A lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down. Because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Hey, yo, first of all, thousand dollars says goat boy says harsh. Thousand bucks says goat boy says harsh. But that is fucking ruthless. Imagine a zero sub, no view, first upload YouTube video, getting comments like that. Holy shit. That's fucking mean. 
What's with that nonsense? Others question my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. God damn, bro. Many others wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. Is, is Are they saying she's an actual banshee? Or is this all a joke because of her looks? That's real effed up. That's horrible. I mean, nobody has acknowledged anything about this guy being a goat, right? It's just a aesthetic. Maybe they're playing with it, you know? The other dude's a goat? Not canically. Maybe only as by character design. Nothing says he's a goat yet. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those pieces of shit still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Okay, never mind. It is canon. Not everybody in the coffee shop's a human. Sapient refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal, like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. Yeah, like, even us satars got added pretty late into the game, you know? What's a... Guys, what's a, what's a satyr? Sa sa how do I say this? What's a satyr? 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 God, I need me a bad bitch orc wife? Same. Goat human? Half goat? Okay. But shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born male. And we don't really have the best reputation either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognition by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way, way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Bitch can't math! Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still doesn't make it right, but I get it now. You disdain from the internet, your disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Wait, but that doesn't... So she got hate... So it's like racisms, right? It's like an allegory for racisms? But, like, if she's actually a banshee, that means that her singing might have actually been cursing people to die. Right? Does that make me racist? Say, say, turd without the D? Sadder. That's how? Chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh, the light. But how can you be chill? Is it just me or this bitch vibrating? What's going on, Asrael? With such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that. Holy fuck. Guys, she's going off the edge. Quick, someone get a condom. Whoa! Exclamation point, says Georgie. Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? What did you say? Who do they think they are? It's only fitting that on the year sub mark I quit my job. Yo, thanks for the 12 months, Broke99. Appreciate you hanging out for a whole year. And is you quitting your job a good news or a bad news? I'm turned on. She's going Super Saiyan. Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from others suffering? I know I do. The audacity. I can't. Bro, why am I so fucking hot? Like, not related to the... What is the temperature? It's 80 degrees? That's not even that hot. I can't. I see the anonymity of talking through screens has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Hey, I got a new favorite character. It's this chick. Yeah, fuck those dudes, bro. I'm happy you quit your job. Come stream on Twitch. 
I'm moving the fan closer to my fucking balls. I'm getting way too hot. Guys, I got some cheese and crackers. I need gamer energy to game. Ah! It's small because I got it from 7-Eleven, but I was like, hey, yo, cheese and crackers? Cheese and crackers? Look how cute it is. It's so tiny. What kind of cheese? Pepper Jack and Kobe Jack. Oh, this shit slapped. What the fuck? Why don't I eat more cheese? Yo, cheese and crackers go kind of hard, bro. Not again. Motherfucker left. Can I recommend the weirdest snack that you're gonna think is me trolling but it's so good? Cheese plus runny honey and instant coffee grinds? I don't keep any cheese in the house other than these snack pack things. I guess I could try it. What did I miss? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, the power's out. That's, that's what I know. I only like this game because of the Femboy Seder. Listen. I don't think you need more reason. Thank goodness. <laughs> he doesn't want to sit next to her. It's just not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm on the side of this chick. Who says anybody's allowed to fucking... You're not allowed to leave hate comments. That should be illegal. If you leave a hate comment under one of my YouTube videos, oh, I'm coming to your house and kicking your dog across the yard, bro. Unacceptable. Sorry, I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. Yo, Shorty making sense, bro. What if hate comments are my love language? Then fuck, we're not compatible then. That's what. I really should have cheese and crackers more often. Guys, cheese and crackers, new stream snack. Eh? Can we all agree on that? Every time we stream, we all get cheese and crackers. Does everybody live in a place where you can buy cheese and crackers? I think this little thing was $3. Huh? Can we do that? We'll be the cheese and cracker stream. I'll probably get banned for calling it that. That shit is like $8 in Canada? Maybe real cheese and crackers, not this tiny one. You guys don't have Costco up in Canada? Lactose intolerant? Me too, but fuck it. The fuck is a Costco? You don't know what a Costco is? The store with the hot dogs?
Motherfucker lives in Cuba. It's the only thing still a dollar fifty in Canada. Costco chicken bake. I saw a lot of people talking about how bad the Canadian real estate market is. Is normal groceries and stuff also crazy expensive in Canada right now? It's all bad? Oh no. Viber. We have detected you lack the required cheese and crackers, and drone has been dispatched to your location to administer reeducation. Yo, the future's dope as hell. This was my biggest issue with the first game is that it wasn't voice acted. So it was really hard to get through the story because the story was so interesting, but I felt the need to have to read everything out loud. This game's probably really cool when you can just hit the auto button and just watch it like a TV show. BRB gonna go stuck my dick in a Costco chicken bake. I don't get the chicken bakes because they have bacon in them, but uh, are they good? Are they, like, better than, like, a Hot Pocket? It's just a click simulator at this point? Guys, I told you it was a visual novel. Why are you expecting more? Plus, we got to make some coffees. Don't hate on the game. I think it's cute. Yeah, but you gotta entertain us, too? Well, now you're expecting too much. I'm a Twitch streamer, not an entertainer. I sit here and you pay me. That's how this works. How about if I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I've had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. How? Easy. You've got to sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. Yeah, you stupid idiot cop. I just realized Lucas and Sumeto have the same haircut. Yeah, except I don't have horns. I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of the soprano roles. Am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. They are literally made for that role, no? This is a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, which means no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You have one awesome thing that all those sirens don't have. A story. Oh. Imagine, a banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? Yeah! Guys, I've got it. What we're missing is a story. Think of me, lowly Sumeto Media, average relatable Twitch streamer. Unable to break into the vast majority of the big Twitch streamer space because he doesn't groom minors. He's an outlier because he doesn't fuck children. Oh, how will he make it to the top without fucking kids? He'll find a way. He can make it happen. Can he do it without succumbing to what everybody else has done? That's my story. Fuck yeah. Oh, we'll be the number one fucking Twitch streamer by the morning, baby. 
How are things, my mate? I love the new video and I want to shake my thug all the damn time. What's going on, arachnocrat? Arachno arachnocrat? Is that how you say that? I've been alright, buddy. How's your Thursday? Hughes, guys, what day is it? How's your Thursday been? <laughs> Just groom your way to the top. Isn't that a great narrative? It's gonna be an uphill battle, Sumeto, but you got this. But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. Yeah, I've made it this far with zero talent. <laughs> Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away by putting you on stage. Pretty good Thursday. Yo, sick! How brown do you like your bananas to be? I don't like my bananas to be brown at all, my dude. I prefer them completely yellow if you're talking about the skin, or white if you're talking about the banana itself. Got off work, chilling, enjoying the content. Yo, sick! Is this Satter a Weinstein? Wait, no. He hasn't made any jokes about that, has he? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everyone will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. But I feel like this story is setting it up for her to actually be garbage at singing. That cute goth look is only going to take you so far, lady. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing, to show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not, no way. But ouch, that kind of hurts a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. No, please, spit in my face! But I don't know you, and you don't know me. How am I supposed to consider everything you've said when you don't even know my name? Let's start there, you dumb bitch. Well, if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey! I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, crap. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Does that have some sort of deeper mythological meaning? Can anybody dissect the writer's intention behind this one? You guys are eating brown bananas? You can both fucking leave. It's fucking weird. Brown bananas are for banana bread. Miss Riona, we hope to see you again. Oh, wait, there's something happening on my phone. Oh, Riona! Has she posted anything on her stories? The Evening Whispers? Oh! There's a music! There's a whole soundtrack! It's probably royalty-free stuff, right? That's kind of poggers. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn, so let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. You don't want them to be entirely brown, just big spots on it. They are so goddamn sweet. But it's a banana! Other fruits exist if you wanted to taste something other than banana flavored. 
Guys, if you get an apple and you soak it in orange juice, it tastes so sour. Let's go fucking eat an orange. Sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. I get too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. I don't feel like you can blame the kid. He was doing his best to try and give the girl a chance at what she wanted to do. She wants people to have her to sing. He has the ability to give her an audience. Like, what? I thought he was doing all right until... I still feel like he was doing all right. What's she getting upset about? He was like, listen, if your plan was working, wouldn't I know your name by now? He literally hit her with the who mega low. She was like, I'm trying to be a singer. And he was like, bitch, who? And then she got mad like, what? It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up. That's wonderful. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's all right. What do you mean it's all right? I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. Yeah, dude's just being a boomer. You want to get home to your kid or not? I thought his wife was mad at him for not being home by now. Guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. Hey, Fappuccino. Yeah? No, it's nothing. See you soon. Have a safe trip. That was a show and a half. No kidding. Feel like I'm ready to just call it a day. As soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Fappuccino. You know I didn't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Try not to get sick. Take care on closing. Will do, Pops. Oh, wait. I'm not the one calling him Pops. It's the other guy. Oof, what a day. Better clean up then, huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Oh, that must be the cop's lighter. It exudes an interesting feel. Let's wrap this up. The ceremonial grade of this pure and lush green tea has a distinct bittersweet and stabilizing aroma. I will say one thing about matcha is the caffeine you get from green tea. And matcha is just like ground up green tea, right? The powder that they make, it's like super fine uh, concentrated green tea. The caffeine hit you get from it is very appealing. It's like smooth. It doesn't like trigger your stomach the way that like coffee does it lasts for a lot longer like the sort of energy that you get from matcha it's not like a hit and then a crash it kind of just wakens you up and just kind of kind of keeps you there you know yeah it's like a it's like a different caffeine right it's like not artificial caffeine compared to energy drinks i think coffee is also normal caffeine but it's different right Coffee talk. Future of dating, how AI might may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. Yo, look at this meme they made, bruh. Matcha does contain caffeine, although it's 
less than most cups of coffee. On average, a cup of matcha contains about 70 milligrams of caffeine in comparison to the 100, 140 milligrams in a cup of coffee. Yeah, but it's like better. It's less caffeine, but like it doesn't give you a crash, I think. But is that only because I'm drinking less caffeine that I'm not feeling a crash? Or does it have to do with the way matcha be working? Morris Lester's conviction stands after appeal rejected. The controversial motive behind an ex-fire agent's investigation, a deep dive. The weather's better tonight. Welcome. Hey, Lucas. Oh, there's new stuff on my phone. Stories? Lucas, good morning. Yo, he's got goat legs! Influencer? Rachel. Who is Rachel? Neko Chell, is your dream coming true? Mine might. Must be from the first game. Riona. Gridlocked traffic on I-5 through downtown. Avoid if you must. I'm gonna give it a like. Oh, I can like all of these. I'm gonna give Lucas a like. Aqua. A day off. First time in a while. But who are these people? They must be from the first game, right? Does anybody remember? Hey, Lucas. Back so soon? Hell yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Did you want a drink? Kind of, maybe? I knew it was a long shot, but low key? Was kind of hoping that lady from yesterday would be here again. High key? <laughs> You're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. I'm still not sure what came over me. But never mind for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. But dang, Fappuccino, this place is really empty, huh? You don't gotta rub it in. Matcha, however, has a much cleaner caffeine high. That's, that's kind of what I'm trying to express, yeah. This is down to the amino acid L-theanine, which reduces how quickly the body absorbs caffeine. So it does come down to it just having less caffeine. Less caffeine, slower intake of caffeine, that's what avoids the caffeine crash. Yeah? Should I feel jealous or relieved that caffeine doesn't work for me? That comes down to how quickly you wake up, bro. If you get out of bed and you have all the energy within an hour, then fucking power to you. But if you don't, I don't know what you're gonna do outside of caffeine. Like, meth, maybe? Like, I don't know what the alternative is. The regulars typically show up two or three hours from now. Ops 2? You mean Officer Georgie? Yeah, he's a regular, right? Right. Not every day, but he does come in around that time as well. Wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. But new customers tend to drop by time this time. Ha! You got me there. Either way, it works out for me because I'm here to do some work. Oh? Might be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So got some editing to do. But he showed up with just a phone. What's he editing? It just his Instagram pictures? If you need a power outlet, there's one near the wall under the table. Sweet, thanks. There's no Wi-Fi here though. What is this, the Ice Age? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Nah, that's actually stupid as fuck. I've seen some pictures of LA coffee shops that are like, no Wi-Fi, act like the old days and talk to each other. I would punch the manager in the face if I got that response. What kind of dipshit doesn't have Wi-Fi in a place where people are going to stay for upwards of half an hour? 
Caffeine crash isn't a real thing. It comes down to caffeine. Oh god, caffeine! I'm fucking spamming nerd over and over again. Over and over again. Oh god! Guys, caffeine is you. Caffeine crashes aren't real. Guys, caffeine crashes aren't a real thing. It comes from a lack of caffeine withdrawal. Uh, actually, caffeine isn't real. There's no such thing as a crash. Shut up! You know how much fucking caffeine I drink in a given week? You can't tell me caffeine crashes aren't real. Shut up. They're real. At least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? I mean, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, we're all about talking, not surfing. This is literally the thing I just said. Or something like that, no? Honestly, I never thought about it that way, but that sounds legit, sure, why not? In that case, you can transfer the tagline royalties to the link in my bio. The licensing query, oh God, I almost threw up. The licensing fee is free since you're so cool. Thanks. Anyway, I guess I better get a move on over there, huh? Hog. There we go. Now I'm ready to place my order. And I'm ready to take your order. What do you want? I've got to stay fresh and awake, so maybe a cafe latte? No, wait. Can you make me a custom drink? Cafe latte with honey? A lot of honey. Like a whole beehive? I remember tasting more honey than milk. So might as well. Can you try making that for me? Yeah, sure. Here's the thing. I can only have three things here, right? So obviously we want coffee and obviously we want honey. But then if I add two things of honey, is it even gonna be a cafe latte? If it doesn't have milk in it? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go double honey. He said he wanted it with a lot of honey. Let's see what this is. But this is a coffee with honey, right? It's not a cafe latte. It's honey coffee. Oh, I only get five trashes. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. Coffee, honey, milk. I know he says a lot of honey, but I think he's just he's just being stupid. A bees and a bee and buzzy. Can I add latte art? Come. There we go. Ah, oh, no. All the cool bee stuff on top is gone now. I fucked it up with my cum. Not again. Sumeto Media Twitch chat turning into a fucking college debate. Yeah, like, I don't want to tell you guys to shut up in case you're enjoying the conversation. But if you're not enjoying the conversation, shut up. Yeah, Dustbend, I think your whole thing is stupid. Like, you're saying it's not a crash, it's a withdrawal from caffeine, and I feel like... I, that's the same thing. It's not the... How's that not the same thing? How is it? Super. This is exactly how I remembered. I told you the honey coffee was wrong. Actually, it's not. This is too sweet, even for me. What? But it's something I drank a lot back in the day. It gives you a lot of energy when you've got nothing else to eat. Oh, wait. New message. We got a bees and buzzy. But then also... New post. Oh, we got a... Wait, what is the red one? Friends. Friends only. 
3rd of December, actual fun police, social media connoisseur, business inquiries, yo at lmanagement.cx. Yeah, he asked for a lot of honey too. Withdrawal is being unable to sleep unless you ingest caffeine, sweating, and a lack of appetite. The crash is just, I'm tired again because I haven't had caffeine in the last three hours. Right, but I said crash. I said crash though. What did you say? Caffeine crash isn't a real thing. It comes down to caffeine withdrawal. If you drink a cup of strong caffeine an hour every day at work, but at home you only drink a strong caffeine every two to three hours, you get the crash, aka caffeine withdrawals. That's got nothing to do with what I said. Either way, this is stupid. Shut up. Talk about something else. My mans was drinking a honey coffee instead of food. Didn't have a lot of spare cash back then. So he was going to coffee shops? You could get a whole meal at McDonald's for the price of what I pay for a fucking cold brew at Starbucks, bro. I couch surfed a lot. Until eventually I moved into my old group's house. But anyway, yeah. Sure takes me back. What is it? I was thinking maybe that's the reason you can't handle coffee anymore. You think? Yeah. Much as I love coffee, drinking it to replace meals isn't exactly recommended. Even with lots of honey? Even with lots of honey. And milk. Milk too? It all turns into acid in your stomach. Oh. So, not great if that's all you had. That makes too much sense. What a bummer. No, no, you just solved one of my life's biggest mysteries, probably. Thanks for that. Now I can't look at B and Buzzy the same way ever again. Oh, hello there. I hear sloshing. Hey, yo! New peoples. Aqua. Research and development at a university in Seattle. And Myrtle, programmer at Cosmic Studios. I think these two were in the first game. I really like to make my own cold brew at home. I have a French press and will brew that overnight. Very good. I don't like doing cold brew at home, but I have done cold brewed black tea so that I can make my own milk tea at home. I'm still trying to get the ratio of everything correct because the only at, at this point the only way that i like it is if i add like 40 grams of sugar which is just not i'm not doing myself any favors by doing that so i'm trying to maybe do honey maybe do milk powder and try and make it delicious without a ton of sugar i'm still workshopping it but uh yeah i've done that what a nice surprise long time no see you too hi fappuccino it's been a while how you been we were in the area, so we thought we'd drop by. So with all the fantasy races in the modern city, is this game set in the Shadowrun universe? I don't know what that is. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Hmm? Look, Aqua. All I want is for you to reread the terms carefully. And I want you to know if you still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all just hypothetical anyway, right? The way you're talking about it doesn't reflect that, and it really bothers me. Uh... Okay, I admit, maybe I got a bit too excited about it. But putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in this with me or not. Because I'm really feeling it this time, Myrtle. I really want this game to be out there. They're game designers? Although we're not even halfway done with it yet. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need to motivate me to work harder. And we can complete it. Motivate, you say? Ha! That's just pure recklessness. You know that. Aqua. I know you're not... Look. Let's just give it a rest for now, okay? Can a sea monster girl and an orc girl ever be together in today's age? 
Okay. You guys want something to drink? Ahem. Oh. Hey, Fappuccino. Hello. Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. Just keep fucking driving away all the customers I don't have. Did you see about the woman whose bones were turning into dust and they realized she was drinking a pitcher of black tea a day, but they had 100 to 150 tea bags for per, per pitcher? No, I did not see that. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's fine, guys. Just order a drink after such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Yeah, just give me a moment. Take your time. How about you? Spiced milk tea. Spiced in what way? Cinnamon. Or whatever you think is better. Okay. I'll have one spiced milk tea. Yeah, okay. Um. What is a milk tea in this game? Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's milk and tea. Tea, milk, and cinnamon. Sounds good to me, right guys? Shia Denny? Here, suck it down. One Shia Denny. Shashang in. Shashang in. Sh Sashang in. I've never seen that word written down before. Enjoy. I think you nailed it. How about you nail me, you orc bitch? I'm feeling things in this game, guys. Why is every character so hot? Oh. Myrtle. Oh, we're already triple friends with her. 13th May, game developer. Favorite thing, me time, what I'm doing with my life. As I've stated before, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Full Metal Conflict? Full Metal Conflict. Also got a new drink. A sweet, spicy chai latte from the town of Adin in Yemen. Did you say Shai Adeni? Yeah. I put a little cardamom and other spices in it. No, I didn't. I see. I suppose you tried it because the documentary I told you about the other day? Yeah. Watched it yesterday while pulling an all-nighter. Sounded interesting, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> XD. Guess I'm ready to order two. What can I get you? This is my favorite part of the game. New tea selection. I do. Yeah, butterfly pea flowers. Yes, ma'am. I've had them before, pretty often actually, especially in the office. How do you like it prepared? I like it when brewed with a lot of mint. Could you make it that way for me? Yeah, sure. Blue pea tea with lots of mint, please. Blue pea, mint, mint, mint. That's a crazy fucking order, bro. Aqua's Tranquility. Ooh, so cute. Here you go. New drink. New character. Researcher by day, aspiring indie dev by night. Looks nice, doesn't it? I was gonna comment on that. The color reminds me of the sea. You don't, perchance, like the ocean, do you, Miss Sea Monster? That tea looks so delicious. I wish fucking drinks that were that brightly colored tasted as good as they look. The Starbucks pink drink is pretty solid, but the pineapple teas, the dragon fruit refreshers, all the stuff that's like bright colors are always like, 
eh. They're always like, eh. Ohio gozaimasu, Sumeto-kun. What's going on, Orion? Worked at a Starbucks for five years. Agreed. Glad to know I'm not crazy. Her name is Aquan. She likes the sea. Something is afoot here, I think. No, 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 no. You're making too much sense, Twitch chat. Go back to writing paragraphs about how caffeine is bad for you. That makes a better use. All fruit teas are just sweet water. I do like sweet water, though. I mean, all every drink ever is just sweet water, if you want to break it down that much. That may be the best take I've heard from you yet, bro. Only at Starbucks. If you get a brightly colored, like, Ramune, or like a sour blue raspberry soda, those live up to the intensity of the color of the drink, matching the intensity of the taste of the drink. You know what I mean? I've been spoiled by Mountain Dew Cold Red. That's that's my point. Milk is buttery water? I don't drink it, so I'll let you describe milk however you want to. It's really good. I'm happy you like it. Code Red is my jam. I my When those flavors first came out, I had a friend in my neighborhood who I would play Mario Kart with all the time, and his favorite was the red one, so I had to pick a different color, so I went with blue, and I really like the blue Mountain Dew. Ramune is crazy expensive here, bro. It's 20 bucks for six. I've never bought anything other than one Ramune to try it. I never bought multiples to, like, actually drink them. So I think I've always paid, like, four, five, six dollars for one bottle of Ramune. I've always been under the impression it's not particularly cheap. Did you guys know Ramune originated in the States? In Chicago, they made marble soda with the marble in the top to seal it. And the most popular flavor was lemonade. When that got imported in Japan, they called it Ramune as like the Japanese katakana pronunciation of lemonade, lemonade, Ramune. And now it's just all called Ramune if it's in the little glass bottle with the glass marble. Originated in Chicago. Isn't that an interesting thing that's probably slightly flawed? in my retelling, because I don't remember all the facts. No way Ramune is because of the RL thing. It is. It is. Same with Lululemon, but we don't need to just keep going down this road. When I feel very anxious, I often make this tea. No, don't do that. The caffeine's bad for you. You'll get withdrawals because you're not drinking more of it every three hours. Usually I put a little sugar and lemon and salt. Why is it that every fucking person who comes into my goddamn coffee shop has some specific way of making their coffee at home that they think is better than I can make it? How about you guys go fucking make your own coffee, huh? What, are you just here to fucking humor me? You don't fucking like the coffee I make? I hate these fuckers, man. Lemon salt? Like, what the fuck is that? Only one shift and Sumeto hates the clientele. <laughs> What's next? You're going to try that salted butter tea too? I thought you were the one who was going to try it, Myrtle. As if. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that would taste. As a hobbyist barista, yeah, get good, Sumeto-kun. I am also a hobbyist barista. I've made my own milk tea at home. Cold brewed black English tea, milk powder, honey, sugar. That's a lot of ingredients. I bought a fucking bartender shaker, a Boston shaker, just to shake my fucking tea. I don't even make cocktails with it. I consider myself a hobbyist barista. I've only made one drink, but that counts. It's a hobby. I also consider myself a hobbyist Twitch streamer because I suck at that too. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that would taste. I made homemade boba shit slap. That's kind of what I was going for. I never actually get the boba bubbles when I go to boba places. I just get the plain milk tea because I like it. Are you saying you made the tapioca balls? You bought the dehydrated balls and rehydrated them? Because that looks like fucking work. I have drink orange tea with pepper in it. Very good. That sounds bougie. That sounds like something I could try. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Yo! 
home hobbyist barista stream? Yeah. Though I wonder how different that'd be from the usual plain cream. Yeah. Yes, no, I made them. Oh, you fucking made the fucking bobas from scratch? I don't know how hard that is. It sounds hard, though. Still, no on the salt. Are these two dating? Or are they just working together and, like, roommates, basically? I told Myrtle about a documentary on hot drinks around the world the other day. They had a lot of strange recipes. You should try watching it too, Fappuccino. Who knows? It might inspire you to make some new drinks. You ain't I mean, maybe. Sure, sounds interesting enough. What's the documentary called? Overflowing warmth, comforting beverages around the world. The name sounds plain, but the content can be a bit unique. But it's got plenty of normal drinks too. As if I don't know how to make a normal drink. I swear these motherfuckers think I'm just moonlighting as a, as a fucking barista. Like I'm doing this as a joke. I own the coffee shop. Oh, Sumeto, you're an F1 driver? Have you seen this documentary called Senna? It's really interesting. I know you've been racing F1 cars your whole fucking life, but maybe you should watch Senna. I don't know. Now I'm ready to tackle the night. Work's piling up. I just need to free up some time so I can work further on my game. Your game? Oh, the one you got showcased at G... G-A-X something? Is it Gaxpo? Right, Gaxpo. That's the one. Cool. I heard it's hard to get showcased there, so you must be really good. Oh, no, no. I mean... Um... What, what is this character called? <laughs> Gax. What is the character called? What's the opposite of a Sundere? Where they're like mean and then they end up soft and loving? What's the opposite when they're soft and loving and then they murder you? A Yandere, right? Yeah, he's a fucking yandere. I couldn't have done it without Myrtle Helps. Oh, oh no, I'm not a good game developer. I could never be a good game developer and then they fucking stab you in the nuts. God, I miss high school. For real? You got an inside entrance or something? Oops. Sorry for butting in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. How come this guy is all about everybody else's- Oh, did my fucking internet crash? Twitch servers requesting us to reconnect? Reconnecting? Oh, my fucking chat app fucking crashed. That was weird. Okay. How come all of Lucas's things are like, My friend is a gamer. My friend is a whatever. How come it's never- I know the stream's not down. I can see my bit right up. How come it's always- Oh, I've got a buddy in the industry. How come he can't just be a gamer? Why can't he be the one who plays video games? All he needs to live his own life. Anyhow, don't mind me. Please continue. She got interest from one of her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. At, at Gaxpo, one of the reps came up to my booth the other day. Myrtle couldn't make it. On the day, Myrtle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. My company? They work for two different gaming companies? YouTubers don't game cement? I mean, all I've known about that dude is that he gets a lot of likes on Instagram. We're not even sure that YouTube's his main thing. Maybe that's his shtick in the game. He doesn't have a personality. My understanding is that these characters are pretty fleshed out. I don't know what good storytelling is, but I think this game has good storytelling. So, you know, he, he probably got that persona antagonist background. My fucking neck hurts. I'm going to get a pillow. BRB.
I can only find my Zenitsu pillow, so we're going with we're going with that. We're going with that. God, I do not understand why it's so fucking hot in my room, man. It's not that hot outside. I've got both my fans on. I don't want to bring in my fucking air conditioner because then I got to keep the door open. It's like a whole thing. Your opinion on the Monogatari series? I haven't seen any of those. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Yeah, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game a bit. They seemed interested and there were talks about publishing my game. Publishing? This has to take place like in the future, obviously, because whatever's. Why do you still need a publisher? That Virginia humidity, bro. I was in Virginia Beach for a long time. It was like Houston, Texas over there. Is that true? I haven't visited all that many other places, so I don't know if Virginia's like overly humid or something, but it's kind of bad. I swear I probably asked you this before, but a Spisa Sumeto original term? I didn't take it from anything. I've just kind of always had a bit of a habit of sticking the SH in front of words. I remember in elementary school, we would get each other in trouble for being, for trying to stick SH in front of a lot of people, in front of a lot of words. So we'd be like, Shay, what's going? Like we would try to decipher like, bag bad pig latin or something and we would always get each other in trouble by trying to get somebody else to say sit like bro sit down but because we were doing the sh thing we would say shit and then we would run to the teacher and try and get each other in trouble so that's that's where that's from va i thought you were from dc nope the i say dc because it's easier to picture and also i'm like right next to DC. So it makes a little bit more sense. Rather than saying Virginia, and then have people think the South, because that's like not accurate to where I live, you know what I mean? Do you plan on journeying into the caves of blunt smoking today? I don't smoke, my dude. I thought you were in VA. I'm saying VA. Have I not been saying VA? I say DC, but like, yeah. I'm very Northern Virginia. That's where I live. At the time, I thought they were just being nice. But they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. Wait, why is this not good news? You don't smoke at all? The streams and YouTube videos are sober content? Yep. I haven't smoked weed since a music festival I got dragged to. Seven, eight, nine years ago? A long time I haven't smoked weed. Usually people in that area just say DMV. I think DMV sounds stupid. I don't, it makes sense if you're in the DMV, but like to people online, I don't think, even if you live in the States, if you don't live in DC, Maryland, Virginia, you're not gonna know what I mean if I say DMV. You know what I mean? Also, I don't wanna be associated with Maryland. I think Virginia did legalize weed uh, or decriminalized it. And I think we're supposed to have dispensaries to buy it like by next year. So maybe when you can just walk into a store and buy whatever weed you want, I might try some low THC stuff, but like not, not, not really something. I used to smoke a bit in high school, but like I didn't even find it all that interesting back then. I fucking hated everybody who smoked back then. I still kind of hate people who smoke now. If that's like your whole identity, strong distaste. 
for people who are like, yeah, man, no, we can play video games. Let me just get high first. That would always piss me off. I learned about them because Drake keeps saying that term. I thought it was a brand of car. Drake has been saying DMV? Why? He's not from around here. But yeah, no, that's what people in Northern Virginia and Southern Maryland will call the area DMV. The Southern Maryland's very different from the rest of Maryland. Northern Welcome Virginia's to Watch very Mojo. different. And from today the rest we're of counting down the top four things to do while Babs is shopping. Number four, dancing. Or number three, walking. Or number two, rearranging <laughs> furniture. Or number one, let the bird out. Of the dancing, cage. walking, rearranging furniture. Babs is at the store who let the bird out of the cage. Is that how that meme goes? I've forgotten it now. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with smoking a ton as an adult, necessarily, but like in high school, it just made you a fucking Someone loser. Someone kind of steal your car, get my death. Nah, you should contact an end of death for sure. Funding a small project would be cool. I think the thing that would make my card game idea really shine probably wouldn't be able to be done without a good amount of money and infrastructure. So I'm not all too worried about trying to move into having it developed as quick as possible to bring it to life as soon as I can. I think it's more important to really flesh out everything, see the reality of how much of that is possible. And I think you need to have a good Peep. relationship with the internet. Memes, personalities, voice actors, video games to be able to pull off what I'm planning on pulling off. Samantha was touching on a very real thing with his high school friends losing control of their lives, not being able to handle how entertaining weed is alone. I, I don't know. I just got sick of people's like... I remember we had this one kid in school who had slept with a lot of the girls. Uh, and by a lot of the girls, it's high school. So I mean like two girls. And he would just walk up to... Like people he didn't fucking know. He would just walk up to people and be like, Hey man, do you smoke? My, my parents fucking neglect me because we're foreign. You want to come to my house and smoke weed? And that's all he knew how to do. He wasn't particularly good with making friends or getting with women or being popular or anything. People just smoked at his house. As a result, his house ended up and his friend group ended up a bunch of fucking losers. Kind of cringe. You know? And then, like, we couldn't... He'd be like, dude, do you want to come over and, like, watch a movie? Because, like, we were, like, genuine friends because we goofed around and stuff and played lacrosse. And he'd be like, oh, I can invite so-and-so. And I'm like, no, I fucking hate those idiots. Because all they do is steal money out of each other's pockets to try and get high without other people because they don't want to share their weed because you guys are all a bunch of fucking losers. You know what I mean? Very different from just smoking weed in isolation. Like, in high school, if you smoked a lot of weed, you were a fucking bum. I'm sure that's not a universal experience, necessarily. But that's like, yeah, like me smoking weed was the same as me hanging out with people who smoked weed because I didn't like smoke by myself. And I kind of just phased away of wanting to be high because I just didn't want to hang out with fucking weed smokers anymore. I can see why you resent that scene. I mean, I'm, I'm not, again, like, if I meet somebody now, my age, who smokes weed, I don't automatically assume they're a loser. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah, if it becomes your personality, if that's, like, the only thing you talk about, or not even the only thing you talk about, if that's, if the, oh, I forget stuff, I forget to do stuff, oh, my bad, I was high, oh, I totally forgot about that, bro. Oh, my favorite iteration of this movie video game music is the worst fucking version of it because i'm constantly high and i can't actually process what the better version is like that's that's when it's like okay leave, leave me alone you're not a person you know what i mean <laughs> like oh it's the worst i used to skip school on fridays to hang out with my friends who had an xbox no weed only games i did that too I would go to my first period, and then if my friend wasn't there, I would know he would he was skipping school to fucking go play Halo, and then I would skip the rest of the day and go play Halo. 
Sounds like good news. Yeah, what, what's happening with this, by the way? What went wrong? I was ecstatic at the time. These are one of my favorite publishers, after all. But not to break the non-disclosure agreement or anything. The terms weren't too great. So you do get it. And by the way, you haven't signed any NDA yet. So you're not bound to anything. I knew a kid that thought it was funny to black out on Xanax. Bro, I fucking went to my first period class in my sophomore year. So we were like 15 or 16, I think. And my buddy had an entire, like a, like a water bottle that wasn't clear. Like it was like shrouded, right? Like a protein shaker filled with four loco at eight in the morning. And he was just drinking it. And he came up to me because he knew I drank because there was my sophomore year of high school. I got fucking uh, I had alcohol poisoning from drinking too much. In my experience, if they brag about smoking a lot, they can only smoke a small amount of anything or they don't smoke at all. Yeah, that's true. So my sophomore year of high school, um, I had a bunch of friends who were seniors and were in college. Um, it's kind of weird. So like this makes sense, right? I hung out with all the goth kids because I was a fucking loser in high school. And they all had like college friends, right? Because you're goth, you have no fucking idea of inappropriate age differences, right? So it was very easy for me to have friends buy me alcohol because I just knew so many people that were over the age of 21 as a result of my friend group because we would all sit at the local mall and smoke cigarettes after school. So I became the plug to get accurate, to get alcohol for people because they were like, yo, Samek can get people alcohol. And it's like, I mean, yeah, I can ask my friends. It's not that big a deal. So I was getting alcohol for this party and uh, I was hanging out at my friend's place. Everybody was smoking weed. I already didn't smoke weed at this point, right? So they were like, oh, we have this bottle of Bowman's vodka that you bought us two months ago. And I'm like, oh, chill. Okay, yeah. Everybody else is smoking. I guess I'll drink. And some combination of me never having that much alcohol to myself at my discretion and just being surrounded by like girls in an unattained basement with like the gorillas playing on the fucking computer speakers. Drank way too much. Was drinking straight out of the bottle. Next thing I remember is waking up in the hospital stomach pumped my parents are there it was a whole thing um so anyway it made the news through the whole fucking school so everybody knew i drank at this point so this is like eight months later maybe did it make you feel good it did not it did the opposite so this is eight months later my buddy's in my fucking sociology class with fucking a fucking like a pro like a bottle this big a four loco like an entire can a four loco in a shrouded water bottle just sipping it and he came he sat next to me and he never sits next to me because we would all sit in the same places right and he goes yo man you want to sip and i was like yeah okay i guess like what and i drank it it's there's only two flavors of four loco so i recognized it immediately <laughs> and i gave him this look like bro are you crazy and he was like you won't fucking finish the bottle and i was like uh fuck you i won't finish the fucking bottle it was, he had already drank half of it, so it was the equivalent of like half a can of Four loco. He had already drank half of it. He was like, I already drank half of it. Bet you won't finish it. What's Four loco? It's the 14% alcohol energy drink that got banned in the US a while ago. Those big colorful cans. Anyway, I drink half of it. He drinks half of it. And we just, we are cracking up the rest of the class. Luckily, our teacher in that specific period was dope as fuck. So the fact that we were laughing was just chill two locos because I drank half of it. <laughs> he was chill as fuck and I think we were just watching a movie or something that day. So he didn't think anything of it. But yeah, anyway, I left after that period and we just, we just fucking walked around the local mall just smoking cigarettes. We were like, it's not a good idea to be at fucking school today, bro. Anyway, that was, I've had way, aside from the one hospitalization, I've had way more fun drinking underage than I ever did smoking while it was illegal. So I've just always, I've just always been more of an alcohol boy. Loco was a bad experience. I have never drank four loco and not thrown up. Like one entire can. I've never drank one can or more. There have been a few times where I've literally only drank one can and puked shortly afterwards. Like that, that stuff is fucking not good for you, bro. It's like the worst energy drink. 
and malt liquor. If you took a, what's the worst energy drink you could think of? If you took like a, I don't know, man. If you took like a blue can of monster or like a, like a, what are they called? What are they called? What, what's the one with the long name? A rock star? If you took like a rock star, a sugar-free rock star and mixed it in with like a fucking Miller High Life, it would be like that. They're not good, but they're stuffed with sugar. So they're, so they're also not bad. <laughs> anyway, when you're fucking... Listen, they weren't... We weren't getting those because they were good. We were getting them because they were in the fridge right next to the fridge with the Arizona iced teas. So it was very easy to walk into a 7-Eleven, grab an Arizona iced tea that you would buy, shove a Four loco in your backpack, and then check out like it was no big deal. Like, people do that every day. So, like, that's why they were popular. But I still want... Oh, my God. I'm sweating. Why? There's no winning, man. Samantha was in his redneck era drinking Miller. It was just cheap. Miller, Hurricane. Uh, I think Roadhouse Malt Liquor was another of those big 40-ounce beers. Ah, oh, it was so fucking hard. It was so hard to get drunk on that stuff because you have to drink so fucking many of them. Weed in Vietnam is illegal, so it's kind of a cool drug. Back in my high school days, if you bragged about smoking, they're going to think you were cool. Is it like... Is it... Is Viet... I'm thinking of like the Middle East when I say this. I already recognize that I'm wrong. But isn't that one of those countries where like if they catch you with weed, you go to fucking prison? Or is it just like, you're not allowed to have it? Those stories were ratchet as fuck, Sumetto, and I love you for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? Run away from who you are? Personally, I think that's the coolest I've ever been. I was a fuckboy. Big disappointment to my parents. But, you know, getting into alcohol while I was relatively early and not dying from it, I feel like is the best thing that could have happened to pace myself for alcohol now. Because now it's like, I don't get drunk at all. I'll have beers and get a little bit tipsy. But the second I feel a little lightheaded, the second I get uncomfortable to drive, I don't drink anymore. I stop right around there. Like, I am only ever going to get as drunk as I will sober up in two to three hours. That's only as drunk as I get nowadays. I guess that's not necessarily exclusively due to me drinking as a kid. That's probably just got more to do with the fact that I don't really socially drink with people anymore. I don't know. I think I'm just talking. What for? There are terms were the farthest thing from acting in good faith. If I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm a bit lost. Sorry about that. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the necessary expenses. They'll do the marketing, promotion, distribution, and all that. But if I'm unable to meet the deadline or refuse to adhere to their request for changes or breach any of the stated agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable. I must return all of the money regardless of my progress on the game. What? And it won't be cheap at all, mind you. I feel like you think you were cooler then than you are now. My boy would be confident in rocking in his profession. No, I mean, it's cool being a YouTuber, you know? It's going to be very cool when I actually get a ton of views and we have money to play with. I cannot emphasize this enough. I don't mean like Lamborghini money. I literally just mean, guys, we can spend money on stream. I can buy stupid shit to eat on stream. You know what I mean? I can afford to buy bad video games and not worry about, you know, returning them. The only reason, by the way, we're even playing this today is because it was free on Xbox Game Pass. If this game is $15, if I had to pay for this game, we wouldn't be playing it today. We'd be fucking watching YouTube videos. That's the reality of the situation. Once we make enough money to do that, oh, this is going to get real fun. You're waiting to enter your Doug Doug era? What's a Doug Doug? Also, is it just me? If I fail to do so, they'll have full ownership of the game? Okay, there's where this gets bad. Is it just me? Or was that not a bad deal up to this point? We do the marketing. We pay for everything. You just get the game out. 
Aside from them taking the game if she fails to meet the deadlines, is that not a wet dream for an indie developer? Ah, fuck, man. I'm so sick of being the sweaty. I have no solutions, man. All right, boys, we're going full muscle. Yo, Emiko, thanks for eight more gifted subs. That is a weird number of subs you opted for. You rounding out your the gift solutions numbers. Is to bottle the sweat and sell it. Also, Orion Rod, thank you so much for the prime, broski. What did you say? Big numbers. Big thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, we're going. We're going full muscle, boys. We're going full muscle. I can't. I'm fucking hot, man. Brings me to fifty. Ah, that makes sense. Where are we at? What do we got? Um, what did you say, that Azrael Yuzu Tuzu Zuyu. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Mark Caesar, Void X I I I, Ivan Roman, Hero Pem, Steve is tall, and Twitch Gaming in my chair. Welcome to the meme stream dream team and Orion Rod. Thank you so much for the prime, homie. Appreciate it, my dudes. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Welcome to the watch lift. Big dev companies will probably give you an impossible deadline to assure you lose the rights of the game. Yeah, I absolutely do not mean if it's malicious. When Femboy era? I am 210 pounds, my dude. There's, there's no Femboy era for me. Yo, McDowey Thighs, thanks for the five gifted sub. Crown is online, Lil Lemon Live, Zombie Pesto, so. Is that not pesto sauce? Zombie pesto so? MBD6 and Georgie Boy 8. Welcome to the watch list, everybody. Give a big thank you to McDowey Thighs and to the collective known as Emiko for them. Boys, it's been a long time. Let's get some wide diva ass in the chat, boys. Some wide diva ass. That's what we do here. Might not make sense, but that's okay. You don't need to make sense out of it. Why diva ass, ladies and gentlemen? Did you say punk, big, meaty, I don't think whatever I am is ever gonna be like the meme sexually attractive thing that the internet goes after, you, you know what I mean? Punk. You can be goth girls, alt girls, tomboys. For guys, you can sort of be like the superhero hunk or the femboy. You might even get away with a dad bod, but like, you know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think Indian guys, slightly overweight Indian guys is ever going to be the, you know what I mean? That's never really going to be the in fashion. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't, you know, I'm getting, I'll, I'll be married in six months. I don't need to be attractive to the internet. But it'd be nice to know what it feels like. You can like. be our handsome brown bear. We just want to be held by your big hairy arms. I don't like that. Don't, don't point out how hairy I am. I'm self-conscious about that. Have you considered courting the furry crowd? They can be very generous. I mean, yes. But it's healthy to be di thinner? Was I arguing otherwise? What did you say? Big, Didn't say you'd look like Finster, just say we want to see you in a dress. No, you don't. Hope your fiance's doing well. She's doing good. He hates her job and she wants a new job and she's been looking for a new job for like a year. And every place that she's gone to just kind of also looks like they have a really shitty work environment, which is what she's trying to get away from. But I'm sure it'll work out eventually. When you really pop off, everyone will find you attractive. Let's hope so. Let's hope that like artificial internet clout. Have you ever up dog? Makes up for my lack of self-esteem. No, what's an up dog? Sorry, uh, 
No, what? I've never heard of up dog. What's up dog? Did I do that right? Is everybody happy about that? Uh, if you guys wanted an update on the latest video, I don't know how much people care. I uploaded it about 20 hours ago because I uploaded it pretty late in the day. It's currently sitting at 21,000, almost 22,000 views. That is a 7 out of 10 as far as my last 10 up uploads. Uh, before I uploaded, my subscriber count was 163,030 subs. It is now at 163,034. We did drop about 20 subs when I uploaded, so we're still on the same pattern of losing subs every time I upload. But now within 24 hours, we've come back to um, having the same amount of subs as before I uploaded. So not as bad as um, the Mr. Beast video where we lost like 50 subs and it took like five days to make them back. The video was way too arousing for the last week of Ramadan, I know, right? Listen, I don't pick what topics come to mind. We did a whole stream the day before trying to come up with a different idea, and we couldn't. Don't get mad at me. Look at someone like Wubby. Dude is a very large ginger man. Woman flood his subreddit with tits to the point that it's become a problem, and he has to temporarily ban it. I mean, good for him, but... I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually all Listen, Jim, after watching it. microwave snacks, video eating my lean cuisine today feels very sad. Why? Lean cuisines are great. I would take a hot pocket or a lean pocket. Oh, lean cuisine. Sorry, you didn't say lean pocket. I love lean cuisines. You're being weird, man. I get fucking frozen butter, uh, Swedish meatballs and butter noodles, spaghetti and meatball. I love their frozen stuff, man. Eat that stuff all the time. Nothing depressing about it. I love being able to look in my freezer and having 10 different dishes. I, I almost can make it in three passed minutes. out from all the blood rushing watching the last video. <laughs> it just tastes disappointing and it's kind of like cardboard. I mean, you have to pick the ones that you either like or appreciate. You got hate for the Mr. Beast video? Of course. Of course, I talked about a trans person and I didn't say I wanted to murder them. So as a result, people were like, wow, I don't support cement anymore. It, I don't consider it a loss, but yeah, some people unsubbed. You gotta find the frozen stuff you like. A lot of the frozen stuff sucks ass, but when you find the frozen stuff that you like or is delicious or is your thing, there's nothing better than having food that you can have ready in three fucking minutes. It's kind of the best. You know what I mean? It, it's so much easier than having like a cabinet full of pantry items and pasta and meat to be able to cook whatever you want to. It's way easier to spend 50 bucks and have an entire week full of frozen food that to have food whenever you want to. That's so much easier to do. Would have been a lose-lose situation with that one to be honest. Yeah, but it got a lot of views, you know? And I gotta do a better job at trying to upload videos that are on trending topics. So regardless of what that video was, it was the most talked about thing in that moment. And I needed to try and execute on, can I make a video that's informative and funny and get it out in a time period where people are still talking about that topic. Having those set as my goals, uh, I think I did pretty well. So. Subs gained or lost makes absolutely no difference to me. Again, I don't consider it a loss if you're just gonna unsub because I mention a trans person. I, no, no, uh, no harm, no foul. See ya, PO. Enjoy your day at work, my dude. Hope you enjoy it. Subs are just declaring an interest. Views are actually engaged with it and they'll show up on their feet again if they're subbed or not. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. Is there an option to give the Prime automatically every month? No, and it's kind of stupid, right? It's almost like they want to encourage you to forget to keep using it. People always find something to hate. Don't worry, my guy. I'm, I'm not worrying. I, I need to look at the numbers to get an idea for how normal it is to lose how many subs. So that if I do upload something that's genuinely bad, I will know. Because I will know what the normal amount of lost subs is versus, oh shit, I lost a lot of subs. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that was so weird. I make one comment about the fact that I 
gay porn isn't my go-to porn. New video was great, Sumitabot. If I could offer some criticism, I wish you had included a video example. <laughs> I could have included the Twitch emote. You guys know there's a Thug Shaker Twitch emote, right? It's not of the actual um video of the guy's bare ass, but it's it's close enough, right? It's pretty good. Look at that. I think it encapsulates the vibe. What was I talking about? Yeah, what the fuck was that? That was so dumb to me. I'm doing a video on a on a on a cartoon that came from a gay porn animation. I said I don't watch a ton of this because gay porn isn't really my thing. And I got a comment of a dude, literally, I I banned him immediately from the YouTube comments. That was like, wow, way to be homophobic, bro, with a timestamp. So I'm not even misinterpreting it. I know he was specifically talking about the fact that I said I don't watch gay porn as a dude who doesn't identify as gay. What, how much more normal of a take could I have made? What the fuck? Wow, Cement, not watching gay porn and I thought you were progressive. How is that homophobic? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's not even like, I just don't want it in my TV shows. Like it's not, I just don't actively watch gay porn that much. That's what I said. Wow, you didn't come from that dick pic I sent you? I thought you weren't a homophobe. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That can't be right. Yeah, obviously don't sign it if they get, if they get your game for not meeting deadlines. Yeah, that's a terrible fucking term. Definitely not TOS. Who's saying TOS? Oh, to get back, you should show gay porn on Twitch? Yeah, no thank you. The same kick. I ain't Aiden Ross. And it's Ramadan. It's the last day of Ramadan. Get your shit together. What if you're the one well, who... Well, you don't kiss a man every morning. How homophobic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say I don't kiss the homies every morning. Now you're putting words in my mouth. I didn't say that. What if they're the ones who breached the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh, no, that's not all. I'll have to return any of the unused investment, too. What? That's what I said. Pardon me, but are they for real? I said that, too. There's still plenty more, but uh, it's all right. I think I got the gist of it. Miss Sumeto is a homing, though? Of course. What's the point in marrying someone if you I can't call them the like homie? Then I took a dick in the butt. <laughs> Bro never kissed me in the morning? I'm sorry. What is this emote called? Bible thump. Right, right, right. Have we ever seen this Mrs. Sumeto? There's an old vlog of me and her from like eight years ago. But no, I don't put her on my social media. I don't avoid putting her on my social media. I've got pictures with her on my Instagram. But, um, no, not while recording YouTube videos, no. I just kind of don't like recording while she's here. Because she's only here for a few hours a day after work, so I like to hang out with her and not do work. So, as a result, not a lot of situations where she's been in my videos. When I first read it, I thought maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft. I also thought maybe it was something that could still be worked out and discussed. That is until I asked Myrtle for advice. It's a trash contract, Aqua. It's just I kept thinking, you know? What if this is how all contracts are? What if this is the best I could get? It's not, though. But what if? Will you still help me, Myrtle, or not? Oh, man, we learned a lot about the situation. I'm, I'm, I'm invested in this now. Is this really what's important here? Right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not this dense. It would be nice if you heard what I'm actually saying, and not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Something about their poses bugs me. They're so cliche. Yeah, but you get their character right away from the way they're posing. As a dude who completely misses subtext very frequently, I like how on the nose they're being, because I'm a big dumb dumb guy, you know?
Oh, I think I better go. I have to help prepare a report for a presentation tomorrow. Are you gonna be all right? How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a bit. Okay. And I'll see you around, Fappuccino. See ya, Aqua. <laughs> Hentai noises. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. I just got so frustrated when she kept asking me hypothetical questions, such as... She asked if I'd still be willing to help, should she accept something like this in the future. What kind of question even is that? It's as if she doesn't trust me. Or anything I say for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So to be faced with a questionable contract like that, from her favorite publisher, no less, she may very well be just feeling a little shaken up. That's a good point. Sumeto-kun, will you hit the gritty to show your support for the fight against Lyme disease? Yeah, sure, why not? Hold on, where, where hold on, where is it? Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Where, where, hold on. It. I'm not getting out of my chair to hit the gritty. But I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Also, do they mean sexually? Does anybody remember the first game? Are they dating? If she's that worried, why don't you say something like, of course I'll help. WT has just happened. But only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? Unless you did and she's not convinced, then I don't know. I think Lucas is kind of stupid. Anybody else think Lucas is kind of stupid? Best song to hit the gritty to? Everybody wanna be a superstar. Get a lot of money, drive fancy cars. Everybody wanna be a superstar. Get a lot of money, might not see the Mars. Everybody wanna be a super. If I could ban you, I would. If I tell her that, and she decides to go ahead with it anyways. Fuck, wait, I'm on the wrong tab, shit. I don't get why Shmito isn't shmeeting our standards anymore. But go watch someone else. The fuck you on about? I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. I see. Yo, I'm gonna be real. If I could get myself one of those fancy yellow Gucci sweaters, I don't own any luxury clothing. I'd be down for for like a like a piece like that. Something where I could just throw on, like, a nice pair of jeans and look like I know what I'm doing. Not gonna lie, between the hentai noise and that song, I'm glued to the stream now. What hentai noise? Besides, we already agreed from the start to only work on the game when we have time. Oh! Oh, they're working... Wait, what? Is it her game or their game? I feel like... I feel like I'm missing key points of the story. Basically, you're not sure if you want to commit. Oh, was there subtext to this the whole time? And I'm just stupid? What are you talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when you start involving money in anything. That's true. One time I had sex and I accidentally left a nickel on the bed. Completely different experience. Well, can't really argue with that. I know how some of these companies work. They're looking for ideas from small guys and find a way to pluck things they want from the project and trash the rest. No respect for the effort whatsoever. That publisher may be one of her favorites, but that doesn't mean they're a good company, especially with that garbage contract. Really shows what they truly are. I really like working with her on the game. 
I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to, uh, I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game, with the story the game is trying to tell. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything. So brainstorming ways to incorporate our ideas into the game is interesting and more enjoyable. A good change from what I do during the day as a game designer. Oh, so they're working on a game in their off time, but Myrtle's day job is to be a game designer. This reminds me of the downtime scenes in Catherine. Absolutely. And I love Catherine. If you want, I just want her to understand that I'm worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Fappuccino's right. I really wish we picked a stupider name. Because Fappuccino almost sounds like a name. Though I wonder, did you say any of that to your pal at all? What? Why would I do that? Why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but when I overheard you guys, it's creepy. Right, sorry. So me being creepy aside, obviously you thought a lot about this, but like... If all you talked about was how dumb the contract is, and not any of what you just said, woo! If I were in her position, I'd feel pretty bummed too. I'd be wondering if my partner still had my back, you know? Like if they even cared at all. It sounds like the project is her baby. Just like you said, work and relationships don't mix well. So it wouldn't be too far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do, right? Guys, this therapy session, is Lucas good at reading the room, or is he bad at reading the room? You know what I mean? What's his... What's his... Good? But what about the siren, bitch? Now, having said that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. Hindsight is really 2020, huh? I guess this game takes place in 2020. Banshee, right. Sirens are actually a thing in this universe. I shouldn't make that mistake. He's a banshee. I just thought it would be a given that she understands where I'm coming from, but maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who didn't trust her, and I just didn't want things to change. <sighs> Embarrassing. Some friend I am, huh? Friend! They're not dating. What's the difference between sirens and banshees? The same difference between unicorns and centaurs. Duh. Have fun extrapolating that. I'm leaving. All right. Hope everything will turn out well. We'll see. Have a safe journey home. Goodbye. What's the gender of that ogre? I haven't seen her cock. I don't know. What a night. And I didn't even get anything done at all. That's too bad. Was that like a regular occurrence here or something? Not them specifically, just like in general? Well, it is kind of the whole point of the game. You seem used to this. So the answer is definitely yes, right? Not all the time. Is that a possibility in this game? I didn't read how much hentai there is, so we'll see. That's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk, huh? You make people talk. I do? Well, feels like the whole place does. Even I talk about myself a lot more than usual, which is kind of weird. But also weirdly cathartic? I don't know what cathartic means. I'll take that as a compliment. Guys, I hear the word cathartic in like TV and stuff all the time. What's cathartic mean? Relaxing? Relieving? Why wouldn't they just say that? Crying so much you feel better. Psychological release. It's different? You're different. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out without having to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure, but great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, 
Could you hold on to something for me? Another item? A fidget spinner with a social media handle printed on the back. Bro! Why'd they gotta paint this dude like such a zoomer, man? I'm offended. Like, genuinely, I'm offended. I don't have a fidget spinner. I'm actually so mad. Like, what? If the lady from yesterday comes again, could you give that to her? Miss Riona? I owe her an apology, you know? And I couldn't find her online with just her first name. If that even is her real name. I thought maybe you could pass that along with my info so she can DM me. Also in this form, it's less likely to get thrown out, right? I have ADHD. I like fidget spinners. No one can at me. It's no longer trendy. I just like them. I can't believe that was a trend. Really depends on the person. Personal contact info and influencer's contact info is... Wait, what did it say? That wasn't enough time for me to read! Uh, honestly, I can't really say. Now you're making me nervous. Can you give it back? I might need it right now. Uh, sure. No, it's fine. Keep it. Need to keep my resolve. How about writing down your email instead? It'll feel a bit more personal that way. You think so? I thought she'd be more comfortable about contacting me if it's less personal. That's why I figured her DMing me would be better. But then again, hmm. Nah, you're right. A direct line would be better here. What if she throws it away? At least you'll have sincerely tried? True. All right. I'll trust your judgment, Fappuccino. Lucas Tomodachil. Lucas's Tomodach... Right, sorry. Tomodachil is the name of the Instagram app. Sumito. What? Teeth, we have matcha and kiss in the Thug Shaker <laughs> Central. Nails! If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Ah, raining again? Nails! Nails! I better go before the rain gets worse. See you around. Don't work too hard. Thanks. Safe trip. Guys, we made it to day three. I haven't even had to use any of my lights. I got a message from my building um, yesterday, this morning, and they said that to switch over from cold water to hot water to click on the AC, it's gonna be, they said the first week of May. That means the rest of this fucking month, no AC. So cringe. You guys don't know how much I rely on air conditioning, man. It's gonna be May. Gobly Labs to fight invasive lionfish by releasing killer algae. UFO spotted by Space National Guard fighters this morning. Always change your OTPs. Government's advice on preventing data leaks baffles everyone. There's an eerie atmosphere out there tonight. Feels like a night for old friendships and new acquaintances. Oh, wait, there's new stuff on my phone. Lua, business developer at Discovery National Capital. Oh, she's probably the person who's gonna walk in right this second. Aqua, no, there's nothing new here. Nothing new here from these things. Stories? Let's go from oldest to newest. I feel like that's the right way to do it. Right? 
Rachel, just finished today's dance practice. I'm all sweated out, but my coach said I've really improved. Sounds like the plot of a hentai. Riona, party drinks restocking new schedule due to new regulations. Cut off order 1 p.m. Shop closes at 1.30. Delivery from Bellevue. What the fuck does that mean? Lucas, by the way, does your phone battery suck? I've been using this power bank in the last month. Click the link for more info. God, I love influencers. They're the best. Everybody should listen to everything they say. What if you got chat to collectively blow on your balls for the rest of the month until the AC is on? That should work. I'm... I'm scared about what that might lead to. Bailey's. Quality work comes with a price. You can't ask for $1,000 quality and ask to pay $150. Respect the people who've decided to work with. Oh, uno momento. One sec. I'm supposed to have my engagement ring delivered today. I got a text message from FedEx this morning saying that it should be delivered by 8 p.m. today. Which is good, because I'm going to see my fiance's family tomorrow for Eid. So I might uh, give her a ring. We're already engaged in the traditional sense. But now, like, I'll actually be able to take pictures and, like, post online or whatever. Maybe a window fan would be a good idea. My window doesn't have a net in it. So I don't want to open it too much because fucking bugs and spiders and shit get in here. Put an ice bowl in front of your fan? I'm just gonna bitch about it. Georgie, I just stopped these young fellers from drunk driving, so that's a lesson for y'all to keep your spirits in control. I think it's weird that a cop is tweeting stuff like that. Just found out coffee, honey, and milk drink is not a meal replacement? <laughs> that was us. We taught him that. It's nice when things are communicated properly. I agree, Aqua. Oh! Listening is an art I take for granted. Yo! I think they talked it out. Fun! I think we made a difference, guys. Is anyone there? Is there a mouse character I can't see? Oh! Cat. Nyeh. Hello. You're a Nico Mimi, right? You're gonna transform any second. Oh! I remember this character from the first game! Wait, but no, that's just a normal cat, I guess? Hey! Lua, what's going on? And hey, new customer? I love this cat. My, my, my third favorite cat. I almost forgot I have cats. <laughs> I'm not in the stream very often. Do you ever stream League of Legends? No. I don't like playing competitive stuff on stream. I feel like it makes it hard for me to be able to keep up with people that are taking time out of their day to like chat with me. I prefer to play games like this where I can take breaks and have a conversation with you guys. Anything competitive uh, makes it hard for me to focus on the stream, you know? Hi, Miss Lua. I don't think this is the coffee drinking sort of cats. No, it would appear not. Do you have a new pet cat then? I'm not quite sure. This is my first time seeing this guy. I couldn't manage chat in a League game either. I could if I was good at League, but the fact that I'm not very good at League and League of Legends has a very, uh, uh, a, uh, unstable relationship with the sorts of people that will jump into a chat. You know what I mean? If you're not good at the game, you're typically only getting viewers because you're very bad at the game. Are you toxic when you play competitive? I'm a different person when I play ranked leagues. I mean... I don't think I'm toxic, no. If people do bad shit, like, I will just type it out. I'll be like, I will type out stuff like, so why did we flash mid when we could have taken dragon for free? I'll type stuff like that. I'll be like, is there a reason we're ignoring bot lane when we're 16 and 0? 
Is there is there a reason we're just fucking dying on the other side of the map when we have a lead? Like, why are we playing stupid? I'll type stuff like that. But, like, I won't tell people to go kill themselves. Like, I... I, I mean, I say that... Look, look, okay, listen. I, I probably am toxic. I don't know. I get chat banned a lot. I get chat banned, like, a couple times a season. Have you ever watched Pianta? He's really silly and fun and competitive. Uh, no. I know who that is, but no, I don't watch Pianta. I quit because the community was so bad. That's why I stopped playing Rainbow Six Siege. I think that game's actually a really good game, but that community is so ungodly dog shit. I have no desire to play any more Rainbow Six Siege. It's a team game. When they're awful, you have to say something. It's not just awful. Like, if you're bad, that's fine. But, like, why are you bad and also making aggressive plays, you know? If I have a game where I die three times, I relax. I try to not be the rock that holds back my team. But I'll have junglers who will die twice to an invade and then start dragon. And it's like, bro, we're going to lose this fight You're, because of you. Stop. Stop. Just fucking go hide in a bush. Let us handle this. Are you sniffing me, kitty? Do you want cuddles? <laughs> That's a no. All right, all right. No cuddles. <laughs> I got banned in a game once because someone told me Coon goes there and I told him to shut the fuck up. Bro, I got banned. Somebody typed to me and they were like, like, I was like 0-4 or something, right? Like, our bot lane was just getting run. I was playing support and they were, it was like a, it was a Samira Nautilus and I had a Zeri and my fucking Zeri was flaming me like I was doing something wrong. I was 0-3, she was like 0-8, right? We were just getting rolled over. And she was like, she was like, you're bad or my support sucks or something. But my fucking ADC was like gold four and duoed with our jungler. And the only thing I typed was, bro, you wouldn't even be in my game if you weren't duoed with your friend in the jungle. You are 400 LP under me. That's it. Nothing but facts. I don't know why you would type and say I'm bad when you wouldn't even be at this rank if it weren't for your friend in your lobby. And I got chat restricted. The fuck? Indeed. I wonder if it's lost, but it doesn't have a collar. How did the cat get in? Did it run between your legs when you opened the door? Would make a nice mascot? I think that would be up to it, not up to us. Hats. It's been a little while. It has. Last time I saw you was over a week ago, wasn't it? What have you been up to? Honestly? Mostly work as usual. I won't lie, I'm pretty beat. Did you just leave the office? Yes. But in my defense, I spent the last hour looking at wedding dresses on Toma de Chill. Am I saying this right? Tomoda chill? Is that how you say it? Is it supposed to be a joke on something? Other than looking like Instagram? It's not unfun. That's a moderately enthusiastic response. How are the wedding preparations going? They're going. Okay, one second here, guys. Fiance wants me to check the tracking. Oh. Uh. Nope. Changed to tomorrow. On tracking website. The website says it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 1.30. The text message I got says, signature required by an adult for package delivery date. Oh, 421. No, it told me, it told me in the chat that it's tomorrow. It's not today. I'm bad. I 
I might need a drink before I answer that. You certainly look like you could use something warm. That is that is a sexual ass response from Barista Sumeto. I think it's Tomodashi Cho. Tomodashi Cho? Oh, like Tomodachi? But it's Tomodachi? Doma. I, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Warm and cozy. Milky. Warm spice. Blue pea and hibiscus. That sounds interesting. Hibiscus. Okay. Hibiscus. Milk. What's considered a warm spice, guys? Not mint. That's cooling. Cinnamon, right? Makes sense to me. I don't want to make any bad drinks. I only want to get good responses for the drinks. Pink spice. Ain't that a wrapper? Oh. I love this cat. This cat is my favorite cat in the game. Maybe it'll come back later. Oh, did I learn a new drink? Poggers. And then also, Lua. 2nd of October. Votre ami est un paysage choisi? Is that French? Yes? Votre ami? Votre hour? Ami? Is... I don't know. Votre ami? I think... Est un paysage choisi? Choisi is choice. Paysage? I think my job is a something? Is that what it is? Your soul is a chosen path? Fuck. Oh, this is your, not our. Fuck. It's been a long time since French. Leave me alone. I bet it will. Cats always have reasons for their actions. Even if they're often rather mysterious ones. That's not fucking true. What's the reason for my cat licking its asshole for five hours a day, huh? Mysterious. Here's your drink, Miss Lua. It smells lovely. And a lovely color. And it tastes lovely. I knew I could count on you, Fappuccino. You're always a sight for sore taste buds or something. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Right, so the wedding preparations. You and Mr. Bailey are still getting married, of course. Oh yes, absolutely. After everything we've been through, I'm not about to back down now. Bailey is still very much my person, with the long ears and all. So none of those pesky cold feet. Sounds like good news. No cold feet, no cold anything. In fact, my stress is running so high, I feel like I could have steam coming out of my horns. That doesn't sound like good news. is such a big thing, you know? I feel like it's all we talk about, but we're not making much progress. We're not further along than we were weeks ago. Do you have different expectations of the day? I don't know. I'm not even sure what my expectations are anymore. I look at all the weddings on Tom Tomodachil, and they all do the special over-the-top stuff. I don't have any original ideas like that. I studied French for two years in college because I wanted to bang a professor. I did French for two years in middle school. Because we had to. Pick a language, that is. What about Mr. Bailey's? He enjoys creative endeavors, doesn't he? He does, but that's another issue. My parents are willing to pay for part of the wedding, and I earn a good living, so I can cover most of it. Bai wants to contribute his share, but he can't really afford it. Did you bang the professor? No. My French professor? Oh, wait, no, you're not talking to me. Yeah, yo, Benjamin, did you end up banging the professor? I need a conclusion to the story. Ah! 
Do you still feel guilty about that? No, I don't think so. If I've learned anything, it's that you need to let the people you love make their own choices. But I am concerned. Both about by dropping all the savings on the stuff. Our wedding is literally 23 people. We're doing the wedding we want and not the typical one everybody else wants. Bro. My wedding, like the ceremony, is like 40 people. My reception is 300 people. So far. And that's not even inviting like everybody we know. That's literally just who we feel like we have to invite to the wedding. Has ended up as 300 people. Fucking brown families, bro. Yeah, because you invite you have one family that's a friend of your family, and they have eight fucking family members? Like. It becomes so many people so fucking fast, bro. Sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself, trying to make everyone happy. What the fuck? If you want to win more league games, I don't. Try muting all, never chatting, and ignoring the teammates. Here's the thing that I've learned, is I kind of like... The, the reason I want to get better at league is because I want to be part of the conversation of the game. I like how much stuff there is. I like that they have patch notes and the competitive scene is popular. When I play, I want to be able to talk to other people about the game. Yo, let's do Dragon. Oh, they should Nash here. No sums bot and like talking to each other, getting better, you know, cumulatively. That's what I like about the game. And the reason, like, I didn't feel like I could do that down in fucking silver. So that's why I was trying hard to get out of gold and I got myself to plat. It's because I was like, at plat, people start to know how to play the game. Sort of. I know once you get to Diamond, it's like, no, Plat players are stupid. And then once you get to Masters, it's like, no, Diamond players are stupid. And it goes up and up and up. But I've seen, like, actual fucking apes in Gold Ring. Like, literally do not know how to play the game. Sort of thing. It's like a cult thing? Yeah, I guess. Damn, Subeto playing Coffee Talk 2 the day it gets out? Yeah, it's on Xbox Game Pass. If you guys have Xbox Game Pass, this game is free for you. I'm in gold four, but I've still got nothing but good times and still communicate, but I'm just very fast to mute now. I, yeah, I got myself to plat just because I got sick of people calling me trash for being gold. You know? It's like, to the casual person, not the casual, like, league streamer, but to the casual person who's tried league, if you get to plat, you know what you're doing. At least in some capacity. In my opinion. So that's, that's all I wanted to accomplish. And I did. So, yeah, fuck it. What the fuck? I didn't hear the door open or anything. Hello, Neil. Is this space person you told me about weeks ago? The one who used to come to the cafe? I thought it might be them, but I'm not sure now. They didn't seem to react to my greeting. Besides, last time we saw Neil, he had changed his name to Silver. And he looked rather more human. Sorry, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm not fucking ignoring people. Oh! This is something. Hi, Sumeto. Love what you're doing with YouTube. Your channel's progress with almost 165,000 subs is impressive. Next stop is gold play button. I'm reaching out from Funmates, the platform that offers YouTubers upfront funding at low interest rates. As a result, you can receive $30,000 to $150,000 to invest in your channel and take it to new heights. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Shut up. You say, <laughs> you spelt witch wrong, you idiot. And he looked rather more human. I see, this is all very mysterious. Also, did you hear them come in? I didn't. That's true. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to stay cool. I gotta get, like, a cooling pillow? Why does everything in my life require me to fucking buy more products? Ugh. <sighs> They're stealthy. Oh, bartender. What does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? 
Pour me a stiff one. Beg your pardon? This isn't quite that kind of place. Isn't it? Our research indicates that this is the way one should order a drink. In a place of public consumption. Sounds like your research was based on orc westerns. No, I, I remember a character like this in the first game. They're, they're, they're an alien species. Um using like a computer in a in a spacesuit to try and act human to study human something like that is there anything wrong with orc westerns we rather enjoyed them have you played valhalla valhalla no i haven't i think i've seen some people play it on a uh, on stream though in what ways that um it would take a very long time to answer that. I guess the better question is, how are they similar? How are they similar? You did say it was the better question. That's fair. Is TTS not going through? TTS broken? Hold on, let me see. I guess TTS is busted. I wasn't paying attention. They didn't add any new sound effects or anything. Let me refresh the uh, thing. All right, TTS refreshed. I will go ahead and send this message for you. Save you the points. Hello? Where's ye booze? Ah, fuck, I sent it twice, shit. I suppose the honest answer is, see ya, Osmond. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. The way people feel emotions is similar. How their how their ambitions and have dreams. How they want things and sometimes get jealous of each other, but also how they help each other out. And how they fall in love. It sounds like Earthlings have very busy feelings. I guess we do. Are your people very different in that respect? We are. See ya, Emiko. Have a fun day at work. I don't know if you mean work or just something else to do, but thanks for dropping by. Good luck on the wedding if I don't see you till then. Although we want things too, but it appears that Earthlings have at least 94.328% more emotions than we do. How do you distinguish between them all? Sometimes we don't. Reading others isn't easy, nor is understanding ourselves for that matter. It adds some spice to life, I guess. It sounds to us like it would be helpful to have those emotions displayed, especially in movies. Perhaps you could write them at the top of the screen? The art of this game looks soothing? Yeah, it's very cozy. Cinema from the 1920s would certainly agree with you. But, pardon me, you're not Neil, are you? Or Silver? Indeed we are not. Our name is Amanda. So there are several of you here on Earth? Oh, I got a new, uh, I got a new friend. Amanda. Okay. There are a great many of us everywhere. Our average density is 3450.45 per galaxy. But that is not the topic of our present conversation. No, you wanted a drink, didn't you? We do wish to absorb some liquid matter, yes. Similarly to what the purple earthling has been doing. The purple earthling? That is a certainly a description. Is it wrong? Would it be more accurate to describe you as the four appendages earthling? Do you mean my horns and my ears? Erm, um, Miss Amanda, we usually avoid addressing customers by the number of their appendages. Oh, we apologize, but we cannot address the per the customer by name as we do not know it. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. That's my bad. I'm Lua. Lua. Lua? Lua! Yes. It has, been, it has a very pleasing sound. Thank you. 
We wish to absorb some liquid matter, as Lua has been doing. Of course. Do you have an idea as to what kind of liquid matter? Something bright colored and memorable. We want our first drink on Earth to be an experience we shall never forget. How about absinthe? No pressure, Fappuccino. It's quite all right. We were born to raise this kind of challenge. To rise to this kind of challenge. Banger Video Smith, thank you, Prajesh. Any other ideas, Miss Amanda? We want the taste to be very spicy. We know that some places serve weak drinks to bipeds with female denominations. Girly drinks, you mean. Our research has determined that behavior to be undesirable. <laughs> In 99.9999% of occurrences. Fortunately, this isn't that kind of place either. Indeed, so something vivid and spicy. What if it will say blue and gingery? We do not know what gingery means. But blue and gingery sounds good to us. Yeah, I can handle that, buddy. Don't worry. Um, blue, ginger, and what? More ginger? Ginger, blue tea, what would go good with that? I don't know about milk and tea, because this is like a butterfly blue pea tea. I think it's like a fruity hibiscus. Ginger, extra ginger, I don't know. I think their ass would explode if I did double ginger. Maybe lemon. Lemon, ginger, blue tea, that sounds like something, no? No, maybe you're right. Maybe double ginger. I feel like if I do lemon, they'll be like, Oh, that I don't know about this one. Let's see what this makes. We can always reset one. Blue lightning. Oh, yeah. No way they won't like this. Blue lightning coming right up. It is vivid indeed. Now let's try it. Ah, oh, right. They drink through their finger. This is interesting. We heard that we might struggle to experience taste, but we can certainly feel the kick of this. Hold on, I got a new drink in my drink pod. The best remedy for an upset stomach or a bored mind and in a pretty color to boot. Yeah, that's not a real fucking drink. That's something you drink because like your dick exploded and you need to fix it. Your reputation was well deserved, Fappuccino. What kind of reputation is that? Sounds like word is getting around. So this place will soon become a hipster den. Amanda's doing research on humans, so drinking something that would make her ass go boom would certainly be an experience. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe it's a good thing. This astronaut's from the first game. In the first game, there was like a alien species that was trying to experience becoming a human and studying humans. So they took place in this suit. And now there's another one of them in this game. I hope not. I would miss you or not, Miss Lua. Besides, isn't that what a hipster does? Go to places only before they become cool? Touche. Oh ho ho! Can I have some black tea with cardamom seeds and milk? Coming right up. Guess you'd be stuck with me a while longer. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, Miss Amanda, what was that about my reputation? We heard about you from our sibling, formerly known as Neil. I see. Sex joke. We barista right now. Anyway, nice to be back catching your streams, man. It's been a while. You'll be looking sexy now. Geez, good day to everyone here. What's going on, Echo? How you been, buddy? I wonder what Amanda looks like under that helmet. I thought the front of the helmet was glass, and that's the being inside. Fappuccino, can you make me something that's a bit me, 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 extra spicy, no, and sugar on the side? Yeah, sure. Here's a hot dog. I think that's them. Like, what you see in the face, I think they're like a bunch of microorganisms in a dust cloud. And they're being contained in the suit. I think. Please define your question. Do you mean here on this planet? No, in the cafe. 
We're on this planet on a research and rescue mission. It's a mission to gather numbers for research. As well to rescue our sibling. We're in this cafe to wait for them. We made an appointment as is the custom here. They should arrive in two minutes, three seconds, and 12 milliseconds. God damn. They got some accurate ass timing. I wish my fucking Tinder dates would be this fucking specific about showing up to... You guys get the joke. Please pardon the roughness of our estimate. That's more than good enough. You are very kind. Fappuccino has mentioned your sibling a few times, I think. Silver, right? Indeed, we are part of the same hive mind. That doesn't make appointments less useful. That would have been true some time ago. But Neil, now known as Silver, is becoming more human by the day. Their connection to the hive mind grows tenuous. It must be a little lonely to lose your connection to your family when you've been so close. Perhaps. Game is kind of vibe though, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what this game is. This game is full vibes. Vibes to the max. Hentai sex minimal. What do you think about other people when you think about other people and they're not here and that makes you sad? It makes you feel like you have a weight on your chest. Like things that usually feel good to you lose a lot of their appeal. Thank you for your explanation. We think we see. We do not know. Perhaps it is a little lonely. We cannot answer this with more than a 61% certainty. Oh, is the cat back? Hi, everyone. Hi, Amanda. Oh, Neil! Er, sorry, Silver. Speaking of the space person, here comes my former regular. I apologize. I haven't been coming very often enough lately. Hip breaker? I haven't heard of it. I'm Lua. Nice to meet you, Lua. I'm Silver. Oh, let's see Silver's profile. Oh, artsy. I've heard a lot about you. Have you? You probably pictured me in a bigger suit. I guess so, yes. A bit like your sibling here. Might consider picking this up sometime. It's free on uh, Xbox Game Pass right now. It is on Steam as well, yeah. Uh, exclamation point today. We'll give you a link to the Steam page. I have it in the, in the bot command. I let go of the suit. This form makes me feel truer to who I am now. I also changed my name for the same reason. Wait, so these fucking space creatures can just become human? Exclamation point today! there was an exclamation point game command oh wait that's a way better command okay yeah you should use that i guess it doesn't give you a link to the steam page like i did but still this is getting awkward ah lewis says the same amanda yes you should know that I've been missing you a lot. What is miss? Is it like being lonely? Yes, it is. When did you learn what lonely is? We have been told it is the name of the feeling we have when we think about you. I'm gonna cry! Bring it in. Bring what? Oh. We can't show hugging? What? What is this game rated? I understand the tentacle girl, but these two? <laughs> they fucking... <laughs> As we were saying, we appreciate you being only three milliseconds late. It's good to see you haven't changed. 
You have and yet you haven't. Now that you are close, you feel part of the hive again, and your presence is similar to what it always was. Makes me really happy to hear that. Bro, you don't give your sibling a little tongue when you haven't seen him in a minute? I'm an only child, so I do not have any insight into that. Then we can proceed with our discussion of the mission. The mission? Oh, didn't Fappuccino tell you about that? Well, the reason I came here in the first place was to find love. You mean to reproduce with the local species? That's another way to put it. I think I remember you putting it in those terms yourself, Silver. I did, yes, but that was a long time ago. I'm gonna tell you everything. But first, Amanda's right, I'd like to order a drink. Oh, fuck yeah! What do you want? I like something new and unique. I want to explore all these new sensations, but nothing too strong. I don't have the same tolerance as before. Sweet and floral with a bit of freshness. So blue, sweet, floral. What do we think? Double blue P? Refreshing. Orange? We don't have orange. This is lemon. And we can't mix teas. We can't mix drinks. Once the base drink is there, it's the base drink. He said blue, so it's got... Hibiscus isn't blue, is it? Guys, I don't think hibiscus is blue. Let me see the hibiscus drinks. Yeah, guys, hibiscus isn't blue. It's gotta be blue. Blue. Sweet. Refreshing. Lemon? You think lemon? The leaves are mint. I don't know about mint. I think, is lemon refreshing? Mint is refreshing? Okay, mint. Uh, he did say not too strong, but yeah, okay. Let's do it. Honey, mint, blue tea. A flower bed. Beautiful fucking tea. What the fuck? Look at the colors. Definitely looks unique. Yum, it's delicious. Yes, he likes it. An entire garden in a teacup from the leaves to the pollen. Can you hear the bees? And then we got Silver's, um... Ah, uh, no information, right? They're fucking aliens. They don't have any information. Drinking through my mouth feels makes such a difference. To be honest, never expected to like it this much, but now I can never get enough of it. Easy! Barista, baby! Easy! Drinking through the glove does look uncomfortable. It's a very different experience. Not entirely unpleasant, no, it's also nice in its own way, but it doesn't convey taste in the way a mouth does. Where's your Aussie friendo? Make funny video. Thanks, baby. That's up to him. Go bug him with that shit, man. I've already recorded stuff for him. It's up to him to upload it. I drink through the dick? Same. As for the mission... Yes, the mission. It has run into some difficulties. Difficulties of what nature? Well, him, the truth is, I still have some trouble finding myself a date. What is a date? It's a step you take before coupling up. 
You meet somewhere, you talk, you touch each other, you know, a date. Not having a hive connection sounds exhausting, but in another way, it's wonderful. Without the hive connection, you meet someone, it's always a surprise. They react in some ways I didn't expect, in ways I wouldn't. Every time I learn something new about earthly species, that too, certainly, but mostly about myself. That's definitely what being with someone is about. Every time you're honest with the person you love, you get out of your comfort zone and become a better person yourself. Is that a Twitter logo on a sweater? No, I think it's something space related. Sounds to me like you got it figured out. Surely your date should go over well enough? Thank you, you're very kind. I may say so myself, I think I've made some progress. If I did go on a date, I would go better, it would go better than before. What's the problem? Thing is, Seattle's a very big city, even by our standards. Everyone is busy running around and people aren't very trusting, not like in romantic movies. You can't just ask someone on the street to go on a date with you. Sounds like you tried. Yes, I tried several times. I even stood on a plaza for a few hours with a date me placard around my neck. I'm surprised that didn't work, I'm gonna be honest. People mostly seemed a little scared. Meet your partner at work? I met my partner at work. Maybe later on, I don't know. At the moment, I'm afraid. My work doesn't attract the right sort. Have you heard of Tinder, Silver? Yeah, go get yourself a Tinder, bro. You have a job, Silver? A few months ago, I decided to open a cafe. What? I have competition? I would never want that. It rather feels like a small way to start a family tradition. Interesting. Anyway, after I tried all that, I was running out of ideas, so I decided to reinstall Lonely Hearts. And I did when I had just arrived here. Online dating. Guys, there is a Tinder. I think this was a, this was the main thing in the first game, I think. Was most of the new people that would come into the cafe were on Lonely Hearts looking to meet someone else. The amount of dates I've gotten since I downloaded it is... Based on the surrounding parameters, we will guess absolute zero. That is accurate. Oh no. Do you know why? If I'm being honest, I think I have an idea, but it might sound strange coming from me. The online dating process feels a little, it feels a lot alien. Hey, yo, somebody give the writers a raise and a juice box. Think of dates of you and your fiance set a date for the wedding yet? Yes. Who's turning my boy Silver down? I know, right? Please expand your explanations. Do you mean it lacks earthly species? It has earthlings in all shapes and forms, but it feels impossible to connect to them. I was much more successful at it when I first tried months ago, but now it's a little like how my connection to the hive mind has been recently. I'm a part of it to some extent. I feel like if I can just reach out to it, I'll find understanding. But then I do reach out, and I only find silence. My man's getting no bitches! How is it so possible for me to relate to every character in this game? Congrats on being engaged. This is news to me. Hey, thank you, man. pretty sad. Sorry I'm making everyone gloomy now. Don't worry about it at all. If I'm I'm just wondering if I've got friends I can set you up with, but they all have partners. Hey humanoid, would you like to connect? Getting married was the best choice I ever made. You're going to love it, bro. Eh. Both our families are very Muslim, so we're getting married A cuz we've been together for 10 years, but also because it means uh wifey can move into the place. Which means I'll have somebody to bug in the middle of the night. And maybe to make me food when I don't want to make food. I don't know. 
We have two bathrooms. I don't even need to share a bathroom. That's pretty nice. Back when I lived with my parents, we only had one bathroom. It was the worst. It's pretty important that I do. It's an existential issue for some people. We will help. How? I don't know. I really appreciate your offer, Amanda, but even after spending years here, I'm still struggling with it all. When I first arrived, it was hard for me to even hold a conversation. Now I think I can read people a little better, but still. New Meme Kitchen episode with Wifey as the sous chef? Maybe. Two bathrooms is OP. It's better than no bathrooms. Soon enough, maybe a tiny Sumetra will be running around. Shut up! I am not that old. I can't become a dad before I become an actual YouTuber. That's nonsense. Fucking Markiplier doesn't have a kid. We are a hive mind and we have just arrived here. We will help. We've changed responsibilities for stuff like cooking over time. I work from home, so now I have more time than my wife who doesn't. So I cook now, but that was a time when she did all that. I mean, I'm just the cook. I've done all the cooking in our relationship for the most part because I cook more. Because she still lives with her parents and I live by myself for like the last five years. So I'm the better cook. It does sound reasonable. I suppose social media can be a bit like a hive mind sometimes. This metaphor is falling apart. Then I guess that's settled. I'll show you how the app works when we leave here, Amanda. We are prepared. We will now gather intelligence and draw conclusions. With our hive power and your human knowledge, based on your previous experience and your new skills, we estimate our odds of success at a hundred percent. Yo, that means a lot coming from this mathological dude. She lives with her parents, but you just met them a couple weeks ago. Yeah, so we've been dating for 10 years and my girlfriend didn't want to introduce a boyfriend. So she was like, if you're gonna meet my family, it's gotta be when we're getting married. And she told me that way back when we first met and I was like okay okay if you say so uh and then that's exactly how it worked so I don't know it worked out who cares who stole your sleeves I, my fucking air conditioning isn't on man Amanda always was a force of nature we do not know what that means but it sounds complimentary we are pleased Is that like a Muslim thing? I mean, yeah, Muslims don't really date, so you don't exactly bring a boyfriend home to your mom if they're overly religious. I feel like that's true in most religions. But it's also like, you know, I'm in my late 20s. She's 30. So it's like, you know, when you introduce at that age, if you're bringing somebody home or introducing them to your parents, it's like, it's not like, hey, look at this guy I'm dating. It's like, hey, this is the marriage material, right? So we just, uh, as we dated for longer, it made more sense to only, um, you know, introduce the idea to the parents when we were ready to get married. You're the younger one, I'm the younger one. Oh, as for, wait. What is, we have to go now. But, what happened? Uh. What's going on? I'll explain everything later. Sorry, Fappuccino. Lua. See you soon, I hope. We- No time, let's go. Wait. What did they say? We do not know what it means, but it sounds complimentary. We are pleased. As for, wait, what is, we have to go now. Nope. Don't. Don't know. Well, that was odd. Yeah, rather sudden departure. Hope they're going to be all right. Cat? Is the cat back? Oh! 
We ain't seen nothing. Evening, Mr. Agent. You two know each other? The agent here has been asking about our customers in the past, but I trust tonight he's come for a late night coffee? Sadly, no, I'm here on official business. Sounds serious. It is very serious, Miss Lua. Miss Lua and Fappuccino. You know why I'm here, don't you? Well, if it's not for coffee, honestly, I'm at a loss. Is that how you want to play it? What about you, Miss Lua? Want to make an educated guess? Educated guess? I swear I filed my tax returns months ago. I did buys at the same time, so that can't be it. I have no clue. You two. You take me for a fool? We would never. Let me make myself clear then. Have there been alien sightings at this cafe recently? Alien sightings? Sorry, but that sounds kind of far-fetched. Think again, both of you. Think carefully. If I were you, I wouldn't tell any lies. I ain't seen nothing! Fuck this pig. This is getting old. We didn't do anything wrong. And we don't have any answers to any of your questions. Atta girl. Actually, actually nothing. I know my rights. You have no jurisdiction to come here and act like a big shot. Never seen anyone in this cafe who doesn't belong here. So I suggest you take your suspicions elsewhere. And leave this place in Fappuccino alone. Hey, yo! My investigation. Your investigation means nothing to us. I can feel myself getting angry, Mr. Agent. And trust me, you do not want to see me angry. Fucking power. Hey, don't you dare put your hands on me. Wait, what? I did no such thing. Not yet, at least. Very well. I'll go for now, but this isn't over. I won't stand by quietly while aliens invade Seattle. You'll only be wasting your time. Good night, pig. What the fuck is that emo? Um? What is behind it? Oh, you did it backwards, you goofball! You gotta do binoculars second! Did you realize Lua's horns were glowing? When she was mad or right now? I don't know. Looks all right on my screen? Oh, it does! Oh, no! Chatterino broke it? Ah, I guess maybe we really should be using a different chat app, huh? I may be on the quieter side, but I'm still a succubus. Oh, yeah, I completely fucking forgot you was a succubus. Glad you're my friend and not my enemy. I don't like to antagonize people, but I guess sometimes it can't be helped. Wonder what that guy was really after. He's an alien immigrant agent. He's been after Silver for a while now. Back when Silver was called Neil and looked like Amanda. A lot of fucking names going on. Why is she pink then? Stop imagining her nipples! It doesn't make me like him anymore. I came very close to clipping him in a smug mug, to be honest. Even if I didn't touch him in the end, despite what he thought. No, indeed. You didn't touch him. What do you mean? Seems like an important ID key card. A shame if someone were to lose it. Well, that agent had this on him, and now he doesn't anymore. Naughty Fappuccino, didn't you think you had it in you? This certainly is an interesting looking ID card. Wait, we fucking looted this man? Interesting. Not your fault. I'm going to go spend time with my fiance, which will be all of 30 seconds before I start snoring on his shoulder. Say hello to him from me. A succubi? Getting married? What a character arc! That agent looks like he's going to be trouble. Tomorrow's another day. Sweet coffee. 
sweetened with coffee. All right, boys. I'm going to call it there. We've been running for a little over four hours. I have never been sweatier in my life. I have really got to do something about this. Uh, we'll pick this up. I actually don't think I'm streaming tomorrow because tomorrow's Eid. So I got a whole day planned of waiting for something in the mail and then visiting the in-laws. Maybe on the weekend. Might pick this up on Saturday or something. I don't think... Wait, is there a fight? Thursday, Friday... Ah, oh, fuck. I think there's a Ryan Garcia fight over the weekend. I don't know. Follow the stream. Get yourself notified when I go live next. We'll finish up Coffee Talk then, yeah? Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Peace out.